Hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 130th episode of the Dueling Dealers of Comic Card. I'm your host, Bill Cox. We are flying solo tonight, everybody, just like we did on that first episode. So strap in and uh, you never know what's going to happen tonight. For those new to the show, the format is simple. Structured like a prize fight, two original comic art dealers will present comic art for sale that is either new to the market or priced to sell. The dealer with the most sales by the end of the show is crowned tonight's champion. During tonight's main event, there are 10 rounds of art for sale, with each dealer bringing two artworks per round. Artworks presented in rounds one through four will be priced $1,000 or less, and rounds five through eight will have artwork priced $2,000 or less. And anything goes, as you know, in rounds nine and 10. Each dealer will be given 90 seconds per round to present both of their pieces of art for sale in rounds one through eight and two minutes in rounds nine through 10. Viewers are encouraged to be a part of the show by engaging in friendly conversation in the YouTube chat. And if you're watching on YouTube, please Hulk smash that like button. Subscribe to our channel so that you never miss any of the shows on the Comic Art Live channel. To claim an artwork you want to buy this evening, type your claim in the chat in the following format. Claim 2A-Anthony or claim 6B-Mike. In other words, the word claim, followed by the round number and the letter A or B, a dash, and then the dealer's first name. Each time a dealer presents an artwork for sale, the exact claim phrase will be on the screen just above the art description. Please try to claim an artwork during the dealer's round, but if you miss that window, you can claim the artwork at any time during the rest of the show. You will be given one last chance to purchase artwork during the Ragnarok recap where the dealers are more open to wheel and deal, usually, if the duel is indeed a close one. Since this is the internet, there can be technical issues when several people try to claim the same artwork at the same time your browser may not order your chat in the same order that we see it here in the studio. Our view of the chat is ordered properly, and we will make the decision for whom has claimed the artwork. During a dealer's round, you are allowed to make an offer on the artwork presented. However, the dealer is not required to respond, reply, acknowledge, or accept your offer. Yes, when you can't see me, I'm still giving you the finger. Be courteous and only message dealers who are currently presenting their art for sale. After the show, be sure to contact either of our dealers if you claimed any of their artworks. Let them know which artwork you claimed. Please include your mailing address and your YouTube or Facebook handle. Let's get ready to wheel and deal! How'd you like that? Oh, we got, you guys are muted. I'm, well, you keep my hair. Arby's so you. hot right now. That Is was she? fun. We just saw it last night. Yes, I'm inspired. <laughs> oh, Sharon's a Barbie. Oh, man. Hey, Southern Comic Geek used his uh, free cred to say, uh, to ask the question, do these guys do time payments? Of course they do. Yeah. Well, Sharon, you're dressed rather nice tonight. In pink. We are the best of the best at time pinks. Barbie. We got all types of Barbies going on. We both had three Barbies, but all of Berkey's Barbies were plastic. I got a real Barbie. Mm -hmm. Plastic or not, they were all hot. And I'm Ken. I'm Ken. What did I say earlier? Uh, can I okay, you got that? me there. <laughs> I'm Canadian. Oh boy, I don't even know what that means. So, uh, so yes, the well, they uh, didn't have know. a Mediterranean representation of Ken's in the movie. Oh boy, you know, they tried to be inclusive, but they didn't have any. You know, Kentony. honestly, leave and come back, Bill. <laughs> leave and come back. You should, Kentony. I love it. Yeah, your uh, your camera is a little delayed or something, Mike, or it's a little uh, it's a little fuzzy at the moment. It's good like that. Yes, it is. <laughs> it was so, good like uh, that for the Berkster. <laughs> Mike's babies are plastic. Anthony's Barbie or Spence. What? I like the Kentony. <laughs> Yes, Kentony. So, uh, so yeah, the oh. my, the production staff, everyone else is in Tokyo, and so I'm on my own here in the studio. How but are they doing over there? I think that the tournament actually starts tomorrow. So they've been vacationing for the last week. They've well, been eating ramen every day, probably twice a day. Uh, they're loving life right now over there. Nice. 
Yeah. Good luck tomorrow. I'm excited. Exactly. Ashton's the one in the main tournament, but uh, the, uh, what is it? Um, Maureen and the girls are going to do side tournaments and stuff. So. Can you hear me, Billy? So Ashton, yeah, I can hear you. Why? You got problems still, buddy? Are going to play in tournaments too? Yeah, the seniors, adults or whatever. Yeah, they can play in side tournaments instead of the main one. Cool. So what's up, Mike? You still have an issue? Everything kept sticking for me. It still looks like it's sticking for you. Say that again. I can't hear you. <laughs> All right, I'll just go first. Can yeah, you let you know? So can you just solve these problems? Yeah, I don't know, Mike. You you rebooted right now, didn't you? Right. Before you came back in. I yeah. just rebooted and came back in. It looks better now. Are you are you doing the AOL thing? Remember, you've had problems when you've done the AOL thing. I've only done it one up. time ever in my life, and we and I went out of it. No. Okay. Well, I'm trying. I, I'm trying to be tech support right now, man. <laughs> yeah, tech uh, support really slows down happen. our flow. You know. We'll make it work. Uh, but yeah, Jason, I have been leading the bachelor life for the last week. It's been interesting. Yes. I've been trying to fast a little bit too. I mean, not, not just because I don't like to cook, but you know, because that, uh, you know, I was getting that the love handles thing going on there. Yeah. Everybody says bills, you know, he needs to lose I a few pounds. I hear that all the time. You hear that all the time. <laughs> Skinny yeah. bill. Eat a burger. Skinnigan. I did eat a burger today, but with no bun, no cheese, no nothing on it. Just the burger. That was what I did. So, <laughs> hey, I don't know. We'll see if it works. I'll give it a week. Uh, but uh, Possible burgers. I do. Let's, um, let's get the uh, coin flip out of the way scary. if I can find it. Uh, let's see here. Where is that doggone coin? But, uh, but, yeah, other than that, life is good here. There we go. Get this in the stream. We can flip it. Come on, get in there. There we go. It's about time I won this yeah, one. Yeah, it's like on. ridiculous. Come on. Come on. Oh, this is bullshit. <laughs> this is bullshit. Yeah, we're supposed to need a bleep. <laughs> what motherfucking bleep? <laughs> well, Mike just gets to choose. He, he may not want to go first. Of course. Perky's going, going first. Going first is not Perky's good. going first. <laughs> Oh You're boy. A big mistake. Yeah, there you go. Rigged, rigged, rigged. That's oh, three in a row. Right. I think three out of four I've won. How about yeah. giving some yeah. shares? Some kudos for like ten in a row. Kudos for winning the, the sketchbook <laughs> show on Yay! Monday. That was so fun. She wins a prize. Yay! <laughs> All right. Well, let's get this show on the road. Let's see how we do. I'm, I, you know, it's a, it's always going to be interesting like this, trying to run all aspects of it. But everybody out there in the chat, if you see something that I miss, be feel, you know, feel free. You can shout it out in the chat. And uh, if I got a score wrong, yell at me too. I'm the only one here to listen, so I, uh, I'll actually appreciate it when I see. How about uh, if we have Marcus add the totals? Well, he's good at that. He's very good at math. I know that. So we definitely well, could he's use good him at for that. discounts. He's not good at adding totals. Well, he might but be good. Maybe he is. I don't know. We're going to find out tonight. How so, about uh, I add the totals? <laughs> <laughs> All okay. right. Well, let's, get, let's get Mike started here. He's you Barbie mathematician. Yes. I'd be happy to have you helping me too, Sharon. All right. Here we go, Mike. Let's get you started. Check out, folks. This first piece by I found a Marvel and DC artist, Janoy Lindsay. Uh, for I don't know who the babes are, if they're image characters or not. He worked for Image too, but four sexy like, babes. It's like Jean Grey and Dark Phoenix there. And Is then, that Jean uh, Grey and Dark Phoenix? I thought they were image characters. I didn't even know who they middle. were. I'm not sure about the other two. There's I an image of them online, uh, but I don't. Jean Greys. They're all Jean Grey. While she's wearing all different all? costumes. Yeah. That one up front, yeah, the, I don't Jones recognize agrees that. With that. When did when did Jean Grey show her midriff like that in a costume? Oh, sexy. All right, Mike, anyway, we'll sell it. You got 10 seconds on it. Beautiful pin up by Janoy Lindsay on 11 by 17 inch. Let's see, is this Marvel? Yeah. On DC Airport. Beautiful piece, just 400 bucks. Yeah, because it's not easy. That is a nice one. Oh, and somebody said X-Men Blue. So, okay, Jean Grey pinups. I, I, I'm selling it as unpublished, but so if it is published, you're getting a deal there, folks. So that's the first one. And the second one by the great uh, 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 Leo Duranona from Warren. Check out this really detailed page from Erie number 102 from 1979. 
half splash from a story titled Siege. Three panels of this group called the Horizon Seekers coming across a giant and trying to talk to him as he decides to stomp on them instead. But beautiful pencil and ink, Leo Duranona page from 1979 from Erie issue 102. Very, very cool. Bronze Age page. Yes, sir. And you have an offer from Brian Peck on your 1A artwork at 350. Uh, yeah, what the heck, Brian? We'll do that. Sure. 350. Awesome. The ice has been broken already. Wow, on the first piece. Are you kidding me? Yeah, but we didn't know that uh, two of those uh, ladies were uh, Phoenix. I, really, is that Goblin Queen in the front there? I, I, I You know, what am I going to say? But uh, wait a minute. I think this deserves a meme, doesn't it? And we got a lot of bricks. Thank you for breaking the ice. All right, Anthony, over to you. But thank you, Brian. We appreciate that. Uh, early breaking ice being ice. broken. All right, Anthony, are you ready? Here we go. Wait a minute, I'm making a note. You're making a note. Come on, man. I yeah. guess I've, got, I've got your art just up here. Start the clock. Says, uh, it's fine. Just start the clock. Means it's all good. Bill one, everybody else zero so far. All right. I like that. Here we go, <laughs> Anthony. I'm starting the clock. All right. You know, I like to start out with the Sharon. Sharon's got a sword. Look at that. Yeah. You got a here sword. Here I come. Sell it, Sharon. Luke Ross Witchblade. Splashy oh, page. Yeah. Number one, ten. Sharon's got a sword. Dun, 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 dun. I got it. You got it. You want it. Oh, this is beautiful. It is. It's very nice. Uh, and a full, almost a full uh, page splash with just a couple insert panels. And the Sharona with a super cool. Uh, is that all blood on you, Sharon, from ravaging those aliens? I don't know. Okay. And then we get to my avatar of the thing. Look at this. By Steven Sagowski and Andy Pepoy. He's uh, got a... <gasps> and then, you look at the thing. Yeah, the thing. And there's a, some man thing in there. So the thing's got a giant-sized man thing. And that's where she knows me. And a cosmic cube appearance. Yeah. And then some dudes on the bottom. I don't know who they are. Okay. But they look, they're very well done, awesomely drawn. So we got the double avatar thing working for round one. They're working, working it, working it. Yeah, it's a good pair of artworks right there. All oh. right. Oh, uh, see, I got to be able to keep up with the score, don't I? Doggone it. I got a lot to do here tonight. Just yeah, bear Bill, with me. 350. <laughs> Mr. Brian was pecking at it. Yeah, 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 350. All right, I got it. Look, Mike, I did it. And it is a different font. That's because it's running off of my computer right now. I'm basically running two webcams to make this thing happen. Bill, we are All so right, proud Mike. of you. Yeah, you should be. I should be getting paid double tonight, right? All right, here is uh, Mike's first artwork. Oh, check out this from 2A. Beautiful, huge painting by uh, famed fantasy, fa fantasy artist Don Marquez. This is 20 by 16 inches on canvas board. Beautiful, large, sexy painting with this Conan-type character on a horse battling this sexy nude witch casting her spell with a winged gorilla battling him, a giant snake, and several fanged hyenas. All ready for battle with, with a great background as well. Painted in acrylic, again, edge to edge on 20 by 16 inch canvas board and signed by Marquez in the bottom right. Really, really nice piece there, folks. Six, 20 by 16 inches. Gorgeous piece. Beautiful fantasy painting and ooh la la there. Got all that stuff there. So beautiful piece there. That's the first one. And the second piece for you uh, Superman fans, 1984, beautiful Bronze Age Superman page, penciled by the great George Tuska, inked by Mark Alexander from the story titled Night and Day. 
Superman in every single panel using his superpowers to clean up a super mess as he rips off his cape, cape and cleans up all the messed up uh, areas of the house and talks to a lady. So beautiful, beautiful piece. Superman in every panel. Folks, we are talking 39 years old. Beautiful world's finest piece. And we get I a what Superman's and hourly time. rate is. I could use a little cleanup around here. I'm telling you. <laughs> he charges by the second because he cleans up at super speed. Oh, he's, he doesn't charge by the hour. Ah. Panel. Got it. 1980. It's actually stamped 1983 on the back, so it's actually 40 years old. Even though the book came out in 84. Amazing. Amazing, yep. folks. All right. Anthony, I know you're ready. Anthony, you're letting your hair grow back. You, you know, you should. You need a haircut, buddy. Uh oh. We wanted him to be GI Joe tonight. I'm GI Joe with flocked hair. <laughs> we got Barbie and GI Joe. It's hey, your hair's coming back, Anthony. It's flocked. Eh, not enough. Slowly but surely. <laughs> she likes it when it's shaved down. She thinks I'm sexy. sexy All right. Sexy. You're beautiful and kingpinny. Here we go, Anthony. Round two. Over King to you. King Penny. King Penny. All right. All right. This is very claimy. Chris Pachow, Iceman, uh, Comte, 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 Comte uh, uh, oh, markers. This is what awesome. kind of markers are they, Sharon? Copic. Copic. A markers. Optic. Copac. Like, you, you like to Copac. Say optic. Anthony's Mojo Dojo Casa House. Yes. Marcus, I have heard you have you hold the record in America for seeing Barbie the most times. You've oh, been no, 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 casa house. I'm Kenneterranean. <laughs> Going right over my head. Oh, come on, I thought this would go. I, this, I would this price this. Go. This is amazing. I would. Uh, I would ah. Oh, get it now, or it's going to be more on the website. Yeah. Ah. A website Special monster. Sale prices tonight only. One of the best character designs ever. Okay, Paul, get it. Yeah. Next piece. Next. Wing problem. <laughs> yes. hey, right. time. This is my X Men round. This is very claiming as well. Terry Dodson. And oh, Rachel look at that. All, all Colossus. Oh, with a nice. Oh, he's drama. got a nice that package. 11 by 17 from 2009. This is awesome. 2009 Colossus package. Oh. Okay. I can barely hear that. that uh, the ding, ding, ding. The ding. Bell. But you can see the zeros up there on the screen, right? I don't know. What is that? Am I supposed to take that personally? I meant the zeros for the clock, not the zeros for your score. I guess I could have been referring to that, too. All right. First one at 495. Oh, you're already reducing. That's new. Well, he's got to get a sale. He wants to get on the board. Seven, four, 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 all right, so uh, round three over to you, Mr. Berkey. Let's see uh, what you got. Actually, I've looked at everything today since I had to make all these slides. Oh, you had to look check at this you. out, folks. From 1971, this is very late Silver Age, almost early early Bronze Age, but I call this late Silver Age. Beautiful 1971 Superman page, penciled by the great Kurt Swan, inked by the great Murphy Anderson, from the story titled "The Satanic Son of Superman." Superman in every panel as he learns that his son, Chris, has caused many disasters over his lifetime. Beautiful, beautiful page there with Superman in uh, five of the six panels. Really, really nice page there. Again, Swan Anderson, 52 years old. Holy Toledo. Look at those gorgeous Murphy Anderson inks too, folks. Just a gorgeous page for six fifty. Again, Swan Anderson doesn't get much better than that, folks. For Superman. Swan Anderson. You got it. Beautiful, beautiful page. So that's the first one. Second one, again, 
We have really cool two two you got two pieces for the price of one by the great Jose Delbo. These were superpowers. Um uh they were superpowers merchandising pinups from 1985. First one is a, a flash zipping along at the bottom, causing a typhoon to defeat these crazy robotic cornets that he battled, that the Adam battled, I remember, in the Adam books. Then a great pinup on the right with uh, the flash holding a defeated Green Lantern as Dark Side shoots laser beams at him. Are you kidding me? Beautiful, beautiful piece. You get both for one. It's done on a uh, 17 by 11 inch DC art board. Very, very cool piece. Again, 38 years old. And this is 52 years old. Great DC pieces, folks. And we do package deals. Yes, we do. Yes, indeed, we do. Beautiful. I like the, uh, the merchandising art. Those are nice pieces. Gotta love that. Uh, what do we got here? We got a uh, offer that just came in on the on uh, the what Tusca. Two B was the uh, the world's finest. What I have on that? You had six hundred on it. Uh, collector guys, we'll do the five fifty. Sure. Okay, five fifty collector guys. Man, I gotta write that Thank you. <laughs> oh, and uh, let me see. Do I have it? Hold on. What do you there got? You go. Sold is your favorite four-letter word. You got that right. <laughs> all right. All right. So, Anthony. You want, Bill, you, Bill, you want to know why he bought that? I think I know why. Because Anthony, what did you reduce the Bachala to? Four seventy-five. Four ninety-five. Four ninety-five. Oh, okay. Four ninety-five. Four seventy-five. I'll do four seventy-five. So four seventy-five on both your round. Uh, two you need three. that one. Nope, I just had to update my sheet. That's all. I heard you saying it. All right, so uh, 900 for Mike. Don't I have that on there? Yeah. Yes, I do. All right. Uh, okay, Anthony, round three. Over to you. Let's get you started. What is it? A pair of covers? Yes, it is. In round three. All right, these are my color covers round. Look at this. Wow. This is a fun uh, published cover of Moon Knight, upside down. I'll, I'll send them right side up, though, if it bothers you. I'll send it right side up. This color cover by Tyler Crook for Moon Knight number 10 variant cover. Look at that, Sharon. I love this. It's upside down. Yeah, but I'll send it right side up. So if it bothers you. you this but week. show it up right side. There you go. No, it's not. It wasn't published that way. It's like this. It's oh, upside fire. down, Mike. You don't oh, get comics. That's how it was published. Wow. wow. So cool. That what guy is upside it? down. What That's else? That's a cover. It's so a cover. I am trying to be very claiming tonight, people. A thousand dollars. Color covers. Now this one's more got uh, a few years on it, but I always loved Johnny Quest when I was a kid. The original uh, series, so uh, you know, I'm giving Johnny Quest some love. Some Johnny classic, Quest is the best. Classic, uh, I believe Alex Toth designed Johnny Quest as well. And uh, this one is a Dark Horse Comics Johnny Quest version uh, from uh, 1996. Twelve by seventeen. Yep, one thousand dollar color cover round painted. What was the Moon Knight on? Was that on a board as well? Yeah, this is on... Uh, Not a board. No, it is. It's like a thick paper. It's on watercolor paper because it's, watercolor. it's painted watercolors. Got it. This is board. That one's definitely on a... Like a that one's on a, a... Heavier board. Yeah. All right. And Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That, uh, what kind of version is Moon Knight where he's dressed in a suit that's... Uh, Hello? Turn machines back on is this chat even working two times over this is gorgeous. somebody's asking for a big picture of the moon knight please uh all right i can show it again sure hang on oh man my kingdom for a production assistant tonight 
<laughs> there you go. There's the bigger picture. One thousand dollars. Marvel cover fire. variant. Moon Knight number ten by Tyler Crook. This is beautiful. I agree with the chat. Right, You're I'll send them a picture as well. Great. What's that? I'll send them a picture as well. Oh, okay, cool. Well, there you have it. Now on to round four. Back to the Ramita Mansion with the spider uh, spider mug of some kind there. And, Indeed. Uh, boy, we what got, got four. Oh, he got an offer. Do you want to talk about his oh, offer real quick? Sorry, let me. I'll switch back. Uh, Johnny Quest, oh. I'll do eight fifty. Ronald Shepard was offering you seven fifty. Oh, and Hampton. Yeah, Bo. Look at all that detail of uh, the crew. Yeah, that's uh, it's a nice piece. I've got Bo Hampton on the show. Uh, I think in October sometime. Oh, awesome! Yeah, so that's gonna be fun. Seven fifty is too light on this one. Come on, this is really painted mixed media. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, Shan says. <laughs> yes, I don't know why it this is. Didn't, I don't know why this didn't sell. Oh, that's. What? He's sticking to 750. Okay. And uh, Jason's offering oh. you 750 on the Moon Knight too. Yeah. No, no counter. I don't even want to reduce this. This is this should go it's at a thousand. Wildly. Alberto offered you 1700 for both. Whoa. What's that? 850 a piece. Yeah. Yeah. Package, package deals. Alberto, package can you do 1825? <laughs> Shipping. Ay, yeah, yeah. What are, what are you doing there? Eight fifty a piece. Are you doing eight fifty a piece? You lowered the one to to eight fifty. No free shipping. I, I'm not hearing an answer from you. He's thinking uh, about eight hundred on the Johnny Quest. I already got an eight fifty offer, Ronald. If you take both of them. It, right. Alberto is doing seventeen fifty now, and that's all. That's all. All right, I'll do the seventeen fifty for Alberto. So yes. I all right, the ice We're is on the broken. Board. <laughs> Hooray! But you Thank guys, you. I mean, you know, they, they should have been claimed already. I mean, just at the asking. I mean, those are good values as it were, as it was. Nobody's nobody's denying that they're both great pieces of art. I love Bohampton stuff. Thank you, Alberto. Seventeen fifty for the pair. On the wheel, you're going on the wheel. Go on the wheel. Twice. He's got to go on the wheel twice. twice. Yes. Two times. Two times for Alberto. Yeah. I thought we just do one time for purchase. I got two two more covers. Two more covers coming up in the next round, so be prepared. All right, over to you, Mike. Round four. What do we got? Uh, All right, we got four pieces first here. Oh, come You're on. Like, you know I love Donald Duck. Why are you Folks, doing these this? These are from 1952 53. All published, painted. These were done in a, a, a gouache and ink. Beautiful Donald Duck published illustrations from 1952. You get them all. This is done for the Mickey Mouse annual 1952 53. Page 52. Page 62. Page 51, and the title page, page 49, the spin of a coin. That's how we flip it here on Dueling Dealers. We flip that coin. Yeah, flip that coin. For, see who goes first. You get the all one where he's, four of them. The all one where he's them eating is like me at breakfast when I don't get bacon and eggs anymore. They're basically just 250 each, folks. These are all 70-plus years old. Are you kidding me? 70 plus years old. So you get all four of them and they're all Donald Duck. So that's the first one. Now this piece is really, really cool. Check this out. This is actually Alex Ross, his Earth X 14 cover prelims on one piece of paper. Earth X zero. There, that shows it better, I know, than in my hand. But it's 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 done on a 12 by 9 inch drawing paper, but it's every cover, including number zero all the way up through 12, and they did a special one, but you get 14 cover prelims to Earth X on one board. I confirmed it. I compared them to the com the published books. I go, holy crap, that is all of them, all the images. So very, very cool piece. Uh, and signed at the bottom by Alex Ross. And, this, and these were all done in 1999. Did somebody pick up the Donald's? 
Uh, I didn't see it. Did he? I didn't see it either. Oh, but Paul, I, it. I didn't, I yes, didn't even he notice. Did. Paul. Thank you, Paul. Sorry, that's uh, oh, like I said. Thanks, Paul. I'm one, running all the one, switches tonight, two. so I missed that one. Thank you, yeah, Paul. Yeah, we need the audience to help us out, too. Three and four. Thank you, the amazing Paul. These are beautiful. 70 plus are. years old. Uh, Matthew, I see your offer, Matthew, just because we haven't gone to recap. If we could do 1100, I'll do 1100 right now. Here, it makes it easier if I have a board behind it. And what was the offer? Oh, Matt was offering you a thousand on the Ross. What would you say, Mike? What would you do on it? Uh, I had 1200 on, I'll meet him in the middle, 1100 on it. 1100. Yeah, yeah, that's a nice, teams. nice looking piece. That's for sure. Preliminary covers on one board. All right, thank you, Paul, for uh, that claim. We appreciate it. And over to you, Mr. Snyder. And uh, I did want to say, uh, let's see, thanks. Oh, Matt has accepted the oh, deal. Matt's deal. Okay, Matt, it's yours. Eleven hundred. Thanks. Perfect. That's Wait, uh, Matt. what? It's a, it's a winner. It's a winner. Here, I'll even update Mike's score to keep it as close to real time as possible. I love those signs. <laughs> Thank Dino for those signs. Dino are is the man. Me? Thank, Thank you, Dino. Dino. Those are awesome. All right. Yeah. Congrats, Matt. Hey, hey, oh, and congrats. Quite right. Whoa, Dude, worthy Paul. is my expression. He shouldn't get a sign for that. <laughs> That's my all right. Uh, yeah, it's a slugfest tonight, hey, do everybody. I, do I get a beam for selling both pieces at round bill? I, man, dude, I'm having a hard time doing everything <laughs> over here. Bill, I, come on. We're counting on you, Bill. We're counting on you. Maybe after round four, I'll be in a groove. But uh, all right, Anthony, over to you for round four. Let's see what you got. All right. This one's for Sharon. Look at this. Amanda oh, Connor, Steve Amanda Leilola. Amanda Connor for $1,000. Amanda Connor. With a Barbie theme. Lots of bar Barbies, Kens, yep. and a drooling baby. And a drooling what kid. Could be better? <laughs> this is awesome. With a, a dog that beaver. poops. Look at that. Soul Searchers and company number 21 uh, with a so cover great. with a Barbie theme. 1996. And me and Bill didn't even talk Definitely about it. Definitely wall worthy. Yeah, no, we didn't. that's fun. I, I knew it was a Barbie theme night. I just knew it. <laughs> Did you yes. and Sharon communicate? No, no, no. It's so you know, it's yeah. like you guys bring in the same art all the time. Love the it just happens. <laughs> oh, it that's, just what, that's what two and a half years together does for us. I want a divorce. Yay. <laughs> what? Not oh, enough man. sex. All right, and uh, the next piece. Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cover for $1,000. Yep, another bargain of coverdom. Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and he's packed in a can with an alien side. This is from a 2008 Mirage series. Will you be my human mommy? Will you be my human mommy? Yes. All right. So there it is. You got the, uh, a, a turtle in a can. Wow. All new turtle in a can. Turtle in a half can. Turtle power. Very nice. I like I like the uh, style on there from like by Jim. It's monkeys. fun. It's interesting. So you got it. you got the Barbie themed Amanda Connor. It's got cheeky poos on it, which she's got famous and expensive for. And she's got a little logo on her buns. Claypool Comics, I think it says. Oh, Claim, Claypool Toys. In chat. Yeah. And then uh, it is signed uh, uh, live. There's a live signature and then one in the art. I'm going to have a hard time playing memes tonight. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Come on, Barbie I didn't make any new memes either. I can tell you that. I, I didn't have time today. Barbie themes. I, got, I didn't have Girl anything. Power. But I'll, I'm going to try. I, I, we're moving on to round five. I should be in a groove by now, right? Hey, Bill. First, I just want to give a shout out to a buddy of mine, Mike, who's in the hospital. He's going to wa he's watching us from his phone. But I told him about it. But buddy of mine, Mike, get better, and uh, he's watching from the hospital bed. So that's all. All right. Well, hopefully we can cheer him up tonight. Yes. Yay. Okay, Mike. Well, over to you. We're going to do uh, round five. So let's see what you brought here. First up, five. Check eight. out this Defender Splash. Are you kidding me? Oh, no. Sharon. The death. 
This is the death of the Valkyrie. Are you kidding me? No. From, from 1980 to from 1980, 43 years old. Defenders number 107. Splash Phage from this Don Pearl and Ink by South Germany from the story titled On Death and Dying. The splash features the Valkyrie in this heart-stopping page as she gets shot in the back and killed on this splash as Captain America, the Beast, Daredevil, Doctor Strange, Hellcat, and the Gargoyle all watch in horror in the upper right as the guy blasts her and she dies on the page right before... Uh, she dies on the page and they have a funeral and everything for her, so... I don't know what happened past that, but... Wazoom! Alberto uh, put a super Alberto. chat in there saying, get well soon, Mike. That's very, very yeah, thoughtful, much, Alberto. Thank you. So and, beautiful, uh, here's beautiful 42-year-old semi-splash. That's the first one. Second one, from just the second issue of The Swamp Thing from 1982. Tommy Yates, Pencil Mix, we have The Swamp Thing in every panel. Last page to issue two. Great page from the story titled Something to Live For. Swamp Thing throughout the entire page as he rides on a train with a young witch girl called Casey Clancy. I don't know if she's famous later on in the books or not, but The Swamp Thing and Casey Clancy, 1982, 41 years old. Again, two more Bronze Age pages offered tonight to our faithful fans out there. Bill says, come to Dueling Dealers with Anthony Snyder. Have a few laughs, sell some art, and have a good time. Yeah. You are blurry tonight, Mike, I have to tell you. But it comes Am I really? Goes. It ebbs and flows. Like yeah. Madonna. I love that. Man, I need to get uh, different colored glasses. Is that Madonna? Yeah, yeah. And Vogue. All right. Uh, but no, nice uh, Swamp Thing page there, Mike. Yates is always uh, Swamp Thing and one. Valkyrie. Great pieces, you, folks. You, and we do package Yates deals. Yates is badass. Yes, I agree. Yes. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Brett Mixon has a great idea for a show. Do a do a four trade show and call it Swap Thing. All right, I like it. <laughs> Maybe that's what we'll do next week, Anthony. Uh, what was uh, Alberta wanted to know the price on the uh, uh, what was that on the uh, Defenders page? That was twelve hundred dollars, Alberto. Twelve hundred dollars. My What's Valkyrie the didn't die. She's my favorite character. She just comes back. Come on, <laughs> right. Of and uh, thank you for the reminder, Matt. We do do package deals, everybody. Uh, Wazoom! Right. <laughs> Wazoom! We got some else for you, Alberto. Hold on. Hold on. All right, Anthony, round five, over to you. All what right, you I'm giving oh, some love. What? Wait, there's Cyclops is on that one. He's knocked out. Ooh. He's drooling on the ground. What's up with that? Look at thing, all drooly. Me and Sharon defeated, and Cyclops, too. And it, it could be uh, all four of us, me and then Sharon and then Mike is Spidey and you is Cyclops. All ah! right. Giving some love to my artist, Jay Lyston. Uh, we just uh, dropped these pages from Avengers Beyond 5. And this is the page one splash with uh, the villain. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Yes. The villain. It's 11 by 17. Yeah, the this great combination of uh, the best Cyclops. All right, the only good Cyclops is a dead Cyclops. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, you guys. Uh, what's next here? Now what look at guys? this. Oh my god, look at this splash. Why are you talking over me so much? Okay, hey, she's part of the show. I'll sell this. Goodbye. She is the show. She's the okay, star. She, Everybody she tells talk, me she's the star. She can talk over you whenever she wants. <laughs> All right. So what do we got here? Greg Land. All right. Now we got Avengers this Beyond. Avengers Beyond 5, page 8. Captain America action splash. Look at that wall. Capable splash. If you're a Captain America fan, oh, oh, look at that okay this should be gone by now well there you go you still got them both what uh they're both from the same book right avengers beyond issue five yeah. 
five. Yeah, I just dropped this issue. They uh, they're splitting up whole issues, but I'm splitting up the issue uh, as far as uh, land and the Lyston, and I got this whole issue to uh, sell from Jay. No sale, really? Come on, guys. I'm trying hard here. Baby needs new shoes. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. That's so that uh, that's like uh, 1990s videotape, like when they uh, flashback on ESPN. It's so old looking. It, it feels that way, doesn't it? I, I find that the memes are useful. They actually let me do some things in between. So that, I'm going to keep playing them now. See, I'm getting ahead. You add in between round six. I, we're halfway through, and I'm, I've got it uh, worked out. Uh, okay, so Mike, round six over to you. Let's get you started, and here we go. By the great Gonzalo Mayo. It's cool. You get the overlay, the wording on an overlay, but beautiful. Again, another bronze age Gonzalo Mayo pencil ink and wash tones from Vampirilla number 73, page six. We are talking again, folks, 45 years old. From the story titled A Gathering of Demons with Vampirilla in every single panel, all five panels as she's with Adam Van Helsing, Conrad Van Helsing, trying to stop a group of sat Satanists who are trying to take over the world. Gonzalo Maillard is red hot, folks, and check out this bad boy with Vampy in every single panel. Ooh la la. Very nice page, 45 years old. Next piece for you cover people. Issue number one, Sandman, issue number one, all drawn by the great Kieran Grant. Beautiful piece. Uh, this was done in 2023, this year. And there's the published cover image on the bottom right. The published cover, Kieran Grant, mixed media on 11 by 17 board. Uh, just the first issue of the original Sandman, the Golden Age Sandman. And again, sort of done, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, in the style of a Mac, uh, sort of reminds, reminds me of that. But anyway, beautiful uh, Karen Grant published Sandman number one cover from 2023. Ah! Done in that David Mackish style. Wow, look, you, the uh, lights are on in the uh, Snyder house tonight. Wow. wow. Anthony looks like the alien from Close Encounters of the Third Kind. When he had his oh, there he <laughs> Yes, he did. <laughs> what happened? Oh, boy. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's round six. Over to you, Anthony. You're trailing by uh, $1,250 right folks, now. But, package deals. But I, I can feel a comeback coming on, I, I think. Maybe. Maybe. I have no chance. No chance. And Mike has no. no you have no chance. Uh, all right, Anthony. Round six. Over to you. And your first piece is. I, know. I wanted uh, to go to Oppenheimer, not the Barbie movie. Sharon, help me. We got we got an Avengers round here, everybody. Avengers first round. Time. Yes, the Avengers round. Oh, we got one by Staz Johnson and Tom Palmer. Look at this great, great uh, Black Widow page and signed on the back. Uh, you got, you know, the Quinjet, and then what kind of Thor do you call that one? Is that the Thor the way he looked then? And then Hercules and Crystal and a great Black Widow panel. Look at that. Ink by Hall of Famer Tom Palmer. Yeah, love the leather jackets. Yeah, got a lot of leather jackets. And Hercules wearing that big A. A is for Anthony, right, Sharon? Yeah. Sorry, I was dusting some cake. Okay, she's dusting. Oh, there we are. See, we need we need Sharon back to absorb all that excess light. We're normal oh, yes. again. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we got an Avengers uh, three seventy nine page uh, with a feature in Black Widow, and for all you guys that fell in love. With Firestar on Spidey and his amazing friends, look at this one. Great Firestar page. You don't see too many great Firestar pages. And he, she's uh, floating around with Marvel Boy. Woo! 
Show the art, Sharon. I think it's on the screen, Andy. Okay. All right, by Steve Epting and Tom Palmer, Hall of Fame combination. Yeah, action and a great shot, a fire star. I don't know why you're snoozing like that because these are great, great art that I'm debutting. These are curated debuts yeah. for the dueling deals of comic book art. You can't sleep through this, people. The fans. Yes, they are. Curated debuts, one and all. <laughs> uh, all and right. I did like the Palmer rings on, on them as well. Um, did you miss anything, Josh? You missed missed quite a bit, Josh, but oh, uh, we're glad lot. to have you here. We got to fast forward. <laughs> That's true. All right, Mike, over to you for round seven. Let's see which brought. Uh, We've had tons eight. of Bronze Age art. How about Silver Age semi splash page? Da Dan DeCarlo, oh, 1965, what? large art. Are you kidding me? From the story titled Dream Boy, penciled by Dan DeCarlo, inked by Rudy Lapick from the story Dream Boy. This large art splash features Betty and Veronica both begging Jughead to love them both. Are you kidding me? Beautiful large art, 12 by 18 inches, folks. Something really great happened in 1965. Not just this page, but other very famous people were born in 1965. You'd have to figure that out. Ask Bill who that was. But 1965 was just a great year for births of great people. Uh, but anyway, Jughead 129 splash page, 58 years old. Large art. Splash. That is well, a beauty. I, I, know, I had no idea that Jughead was so popular with the ladies. Me neither. By the great, by the great <laughs> Dan DiCarlo. And the next piece. Now, this is, oh, I should have, this is a doozy piece by Brian Stelfries. I love his signature on the bottom right. Check this out. This was a 1990s DC Super Gals coffee mug illustration. Beautiful il illustration. Yeah, you get poison. Wonder Woman. Supergirl, Batgirl, Catwoman, and Poison Ivy. Done on 17 by 8.25 inch DC artboard and signed in the upper right. Right by, uh, it's his cool signature is right by uh, Poison Ivy's left hand. But what was the size again, Mike? Piece. What's that? What was the size on this one again? 17 by 8.25. 17 by 8.25. It's just on regular artboard. They just, they just trimmed it, but... Uh, uh, lengthwise, it's the same as artboard, but it's just eight eight point two five uh, top to bottom. But beautiful, beautiful piece. Well, here's a here's a here's regular so size artboard, so you can sort of compare them. So it says plum tree, not lum tree. I realize that uh, the, the mic is blocking it. But beautiful, oh. beautiful Brian Stoffers, all those five babes with phenomenal backgrounds. Beautiful, beautiful. What more can you ask for? I actually tried looking to see if I could find the coffee mug, but uh, could not could not find it. I, I did a search for DC coffee mugs. They made they, so many. I figured, if, you know, Google's your friend, right? I figure if I Google it, I'm going to find it, and find I didn't it. find it. So, Google unfortunately. All right, moving right along, round seven over to you, Anthony. So and we Anthony's got some field. big art in his hands, everybody. Take a look at that. I mean, we somebody better ask him how many you hands is this thing. Uh, but let's see, where is Anthony? There it is. What do we got? It's a Gonzalo Mayo Monster again. piece of Gonzalo Mayo art that you just can't. I mean, can you zoom in on that? Look I can. I go like that. this. It's Aquaman or, or some uh, form thereof. And it's got a floating mermaid. Wow, it's got horses' waves. Like They're the seahorses. Do we know if it's published, Anthony? No, I don't know. Man, if Aquaman's on it, the odds are it should be published. Actually, uh, I, I had a more finished version of this, and it did have page numbers on it. So uh, this is like a study for it, I think. But it's finished uh, Gonzalo Mayo art. It's nice, and it's huge. How many hands, Sharon? Uh, one, two, three, four. It's and about half eight, by 18 by 20. 18 by 20. It says it's 23 by 17.5. Oh, okay. It's huge. Uh, 18 by what? And another big piece. 
bigger. And another big piece. I got a published Rain in Hell. What? By Tom Derenick and Bill Sienkiewicz Inks. Look at that. Is that Bill, aliens? Bill Sienkiewicz. I don't know. Aliens, zombies, rain in hell. They're, con what? they're aliens that were condemned to hell. All right. So, it's like a zombie alien. Zombie chapter. alien apocalypse. Mm. That's the worst kind of apocalypse. Yeah, it's got original tape. <laughs> You like it. And it's two eleven seventeen boards inked by Bill Sinkevich. Look at that. The hand. Look at that. Look at oh, it's hand. got the hand. No! I remember when you did that. That hurt me. I hate when I see that. Even though it was a fake bill. I was like, no. All right, uh, moving on to round eight. One round until cake break, Sharon. Everybody's Ooh, anxious to see what you've put together for us tonight. Up, folks. We got some doozies. <laughs> All right, Mike, let's get you started on round eight here. Where Keeping is the Bronze Age here theme, folks. For you Bronze Age fans of Huntress and, and Earth 2 Heroes, check this out. Great page from the historic Death of the Earth 2 Batman story. From Adventure, this was originally supposed to be an All-Star Comic 75. The book got canceled. They reprinted They They, they published it in Adventures 461. From the story titled, Only Legends Live Forever. This is a story where the guy kills the Earth 2 Batman. But here he's on top of their version of the World Trade Center as he beats the crap out of the Huntress, Earth 2 Robin, and the Golden Age Green Lantern. Just a phenomenal battle page. As the evil guy Jensen, what's his first name? Bill Jensen. Uh, he wants to kill Bruce Wayne, which he actually does later on in the story. But here he he, he defies and just beats up all of the JSA members. Just mm -hmm. a phenomenal page. For uh, uh, 1978, we are talking again. 45 years old. Death of Batman 2 storyline. Now check this out. I don't think we've ever had a Will Eisner piece. Way, way big 1940s golden age Will Eisner spirit page. Beautiful page from 1948. Uh, it was dated 829 48 from the story titled The Prisoner of Don John. This page features an old prison knocked down as a prisoner is found in the basement who swears he's been there since 1911. This piece measures 16 and a half by 23.75 inches. In, in Dennis Kitchen's book, he, he, he talks all about the book with the Eisner's line work and everything. But Spirit is not on this one. It's page two of the story. But just the line work is just phenomenal. Get a get a great Will Eisner pencil link page for a reason. Your time is up. Thank you, Rick Welch. 45 years old. And 75 years old. Are you kidding me? This is the oldest art selection we've ever had on Dueling Dealers. Like, oh my God. That's Probably the oldest is. round of art. It is. Oldest I thought that was pretty overall, good piece, Mike. Oldest art overall we've ever had. I think I've had over 10 Bronze Age, a couple of Silver Age, and now Golden mm -hmm. Age art. None of that, that was real a good new read. stuff. Some great oldies here, folks. That that page was a good read. I, I actually that I, I very rarely will actually read the uh, panels uh, when I'm putting these things together, but that one I read. It was fun, man. I knew I, without even though the spirit wasn't on there, I thought yeah. it was a pretty cool page. Uh, and the Staten wasn't bad either. So okay, oh, round that's eight. That's a doozy two. battle page, folks. Get a load of that. Look at that battle that's page. That's true. And like Nick From keeps telling everybody in there, Batman come on. Two storyline. Hit yeah. the thumbs up, everybody. We got over two hundred people watching the show. We should we should be wow. well over hundred likes by now. We can do that. Thumbs up the show. Thank you so much, Nick, that for is all your absolute uh, doozy. Your work yeah, doozy in the chat for us. All right, Anthony's watching an Oppenheimer bomb again. I saw that uh, Mr. Moy pointed that out earlier. That's what it looks like. He's he's in the foxhole. I need my Sharon back to absorb. She, she absorbs the light. Absorbs the light. <laughs> Sharon! Right. Well, let's see uh, what Anthony has brought for round eight. And uh, here we go. First up. I'm uh, just doing my quick quick recap. Thing. Dean Colon, MCP. You didn't know the issue number, but it's page 16, and it's got Black Panther 
in three panels. Working on the wheel, people. Working on the wheel. Four panels. All right, so space is opened up for everybody. So uh, this is my Marvel bullpen round, and we got the Gene Colan. Oh, look at that! Black Panther and Marvel Comics presents. He's talking. I think this whole story happens in South Africa during apartheid. So he was down there trying to do his best to solve some issues down there, and it's got a great crash. So nice Black Panther page by uh, Hall of Famer Gene Colan. Yeah. I love it. What? I love it. It's a nice page. Yeah, it's cool. You got that sense of movement all over it that uh, that Gene was so good at. The best ever. The best to ever live. Putting a sense of movement in uh, pages. Now, look at this one. Oh, come on. Mighty Thor. Celestials. And you know, huh? And you got the Celestials in there, too. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, you got the... You got this... In, environmental panel and then look at that celestials yeah that's a nice and group. then a great group shot it's got thor and then what's that is that sharon over there oh shit. okay and then yeah so this is cool i told you that the celestials were all monsters murderers on a galactic scale mayhaps stellaris but many questions still lie unanswered. But the great Joe Sinnott, Joe Sinnott, and, oh, love it. That's gorgeous. Absolutely. Uh, both those pages were really nice. Ron Friends. Jimbo Jones said maybe MCP 13 on that one, just so you know. MCP 13? That's Well, that was what he was suggesting. I'd have to, we'd have to go look. But uh, end of round eight, everybody. We, we all know what time that is, right, Sharon? What have you is this the end of round eight? for us today? Well, she's been on a cookie bender. Well, what's wrong with that? I, I don't mind cookies, but you're right. We, we need, well, I'm not, I, surprise us. Did you make a long box like on your uh, shirt there? That'd be a good uh, cake to make. It wouldn't oh, be hard. That's a but... short box. Come on. Is that a short what box? Comics. I can't tell my perspective when it's wrapped around your uh, physique. Sorry. Uh, my physique. <laughs> okay. So this is another cake recipe from Zoe's Cakes from Lance that he gave me. And um, it's a bunt cake. A what? A, a what? A bunt cake. A and then bunt I, cake. I recently watched. My big my, fat Greek wedding. Yes. My big fat. Greek wedding, and they presented her with a, a bunt cake. Um, Show the bunt. But she didn't know what it was, and she was like, there's a hole in this cake. And, and so she ended up putting... <laughs> making a planter out of it. Making a planter out of it, the chocolate cake. And I love that. And this is made out of dark chocolate and zucchini for moistness. Um, for moistness. Yeah. Like, I'm sure it's going to be amazingly For her good. pleasure. It's going to be. I love zucchini with raisins. Mm. So I'm excited to try this. That's a weird interjection. That looks awesome. I love you. I love you, too. Well, I give you a lot. Yummy. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That you guys are having a little bit too much fun over there. I like big bunts and I cannot lie. It's a bunk. <laughs> like she couldn't even pronounce the right, What do you mean bunk? She's like, it's I a bunk. you a bunt cake and she's like, Can you bunk. eat that cake, Anthony? Bunk? Yeah, I'll have a pie. I'll have a piece. He can have Good. a bite. He cannot eat. <laughs> oh, boy. That one's not going to be for the for the uh, workers over at the warehouse. How's Rich doing, by the way? Rich is doing great. He's I love amazing. the new situation. Everybody's very He's amazing. Very uh, complimentary of his efforts and his sincerity and his consistency of effort. And he's getting a ton of stuff up on the website from the trip. Still, we have a ton of stuff. And uh, Bill, you're going to give an announcement later about that, right? Uh, yeah, we will. We definitely will before the end okay. of the show. I'll let you do that. Yeah. 
So uh, yeah, everybody's wanting wanting to get it, not let the Best zucchini and raisins drop, bunk, but uh, bunk cake. <laughs> very nice bunk cake, though, Sharon. Thank you so much. Yay. One of these days, uh, I'll get to have some. Good. It's gonna taste amazing. Don't cut me a piece. I'm going for flavor, people. <laughs> Okay, well, moving right along to round nine. I think uh, Mike must uh, be in costume or something, so I, I forget what he's bringing. Oh, oh, oh this is the really speaking he's been of cake. A little while, but Spidey, <laughs> Spidey is back after a couple of months on vacation. Are you kidding me? Sharon. Check out this, folks. Pencil and ink by the great John Romita. Sharon. From the 1980s. I should this should be Sharon's as Spider-Man leaps into a birthday cake. And they even have the image date time. So this was published. These were actually what? birthday card birthday cards uh, that people could buy. But beautiful. Done on 11 by 17 inch artboard pencil and ink by the great John Romita. Signed by the great John Romita. Uh, Spider-Man leaping you into me? a birthday cake. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's, done, it's bigger. It's done on 11.5 by 17.4 Charper and signed by the great John Romita. Really, hey, Jiggy, really wants cool. to know, Jiggy wants to know if you'll take time payments on that. Of course we take time payments. Yes, we do, Jiggy. There you have it. So uh, that's, a, that's a beauty, Mike. That is a beauty. And, uh, and inks by John Romita. Or if you like him flying, you can go this way too, you know. I like him diving into the cake. I like him oh, diving yeah. into the cake. And, and you could cool? re I like reuse that, that for, the pencils uh, for date, time, place, RSVP, exactly. and pencil. Are you all Romita, all John Romita pencil and inks. All right, Jiggy has claimed that one. Congrats, Jiggy. Wow. That is really beauty. Thanks for offering that to us first, Mike. That's really considerate of you. Well, Jiggy can now. Oh, Offered boy. Oh, my God. I never thought you'd want that, Anthony, honestly. Wow. Because it's birthday, not a regular cake. It's birthday. <laughs> but anyway, staying with the Spider-Man theme from the Bronze Age again. Ross Andrew, Jim Mooney, Amazing Spider-Man 174. It's actually the second ever appearance of... Uh, the Hitman. This is from the Punisher storyline, too. As the Punisher, as the Hitman, the guy looks just like Roy Thomas. He gets a photograph. He has to kill J. Jonah Jameson. And cool at the bottom, you get Peter Parker, Flash Thompson, and Harry Osborn there at the bottom. Whoa, open wind snappers! Swift, 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 Excelsior! Yeah! 1977, folks. 50, I'm sorry, 46 years old. Bill, what was my 5A? Uh, your 5A, that was the Don Perlin Defenders at $1,200. I had 1200 on it. Uh, yes, you did. Sorry, I was not. Uh, oh, yeah, I see uh, John C. For right now, enough. I can reach in the middle. I'll no, John, I'll tell you what, I'll do a grand. If you want it for a grand, it's yours. Two hundred off. If you don't want it for a grand, anybody else can claim it for a grand. So, all right, that uh, is at uh, one thousand dollars. Thank you for the offer, John C. And congrats to Jiggy on picking up that John Ramita Senior piece. It was very nice. It was very nice. Awesome. Uh, all right, so Anthony, we are moving over to the Schneider residence. And you get your round nine artworks ready, and I'll cue it up and show it off. Here we, where are they? Oh, there we are. Thousand is fine. Herb Trimpey and Jack Abel. Look at this Godzilla Man. page, everybody. Man, you got yeah. the FF. You got Herb Trimpey FF from Godzilla, and then you got Moon Boy and the Hag. Which she's got some weird uh, manicure stuff going on. Me and then on you a bad have day. Shield Dum Dum. <laughs> you got Dum Dum on it. So Moon Boy, FF, FF, Herb Trimpy, Godzilla page. Bronze Age goodness from the 20 cent comic book. Godzilla. That's an awesome page. Mm -hmm. 
Who doesn't love Trimpy Godzilla? I mean, I know there's no Godzilla on it, but it's all right, man. You've got the thing, you got Reed in, in two of the panels, you got Dum Dum in there. It's a it's a great page. It's yeah, perfect yeah, yeah. era Trimpy. I love that. And you know, Moon Boy and Devil Dinosaur are uh, you know they changed her into a girl, but uh, and brought him into the modern day somehow on the cartoon. But Moon Boy uh, is, is still a live character. Gum gum for Dum Dum. Yeah. That was from the the uh, overnight in the museum. Oh right. yeah, I like that. That's right. All right, next. Okay, so now this is a, this is a unique, uh, 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 hard to get uh, example from the this title, uh, Bloodstorm by Kelly Jones with the werewolf and the werecat. That's Selena Kyle. In a battle. What is that? Uh, Uta. Uh, okay, Kelly Jones, John Beatty, Inks. What a great, great example from this this graphic novel, uh, the Else Worlds, uh, where Batman was a, a vampire as well. Everybody was getting bit, bit by vampires, and Selena got bit by a vampire, and now she's going at that werewolf, Selena Kyle. That is nice. Very, very nice. Both pieces. Very, love very nice. It's I love Kelly Jones, and that's that's all. That's one that great example for your collection. All right, and hey, I want to uh, mention John C did pick up that uh, Defenders page for one thousand dollars. Thank you, John yes. C. Congrats, John. Nice pick up there. Lots of good art tonight, everybody. Curated the butts. Coming out of the... on both sides is curated the butts. <laughs> oh boy, save it for later, Anthony. Save it for later. The night is young, sir. Uh, all right. So <laughs> Marcus says he hasn't seen uh, Jones around much. Either. That's true. We you got the totals. Uh, you, you stuck the totals I did do the totals actually. I added your thousand in while uh, Anthony was up. I'm okay, on top I have of five sales, so. Oh, for it's goodness still. sakes. You, do you have five? Okay, you got five. I, My God, I just want to make sure I do. That's all. Yes, so you I do. But hey, the, the total was right. Actually, Maybe I have you. six. I have six. Son of a gun! You do have six, and, you, and I just saved it at five. Now I have to change it to six. You're killing me. You're killing me. Hey, sir. that's sort of important. Yeah, the, the Floby, Floby. See that Floby's that's, even telling you. Well, you got to pronounce you, his Floby. name right before you can say that. His his name is Flob, not Floby. I made well, that I mistake. Call Floby. It's like an well, arrow. It's, it's an homage to Floby. Arrow He's not going to respond to it if you don't call him Flob. All right. But uh, thank you, everybody. John C. has never written this. <laughs> uh, all right. Moving right along to round 10. Uh, one round until we get to the recap. So let's get Mike. My started. amazing buddy Anthony had Bronze Age Fantastic Four. And I, it's amazing. So do I. Check this out, what? folks. From 1978. Sal Buscema, Ink by the Great Joe Sinat. Are you kidding me? All out action page. Oh, my God. Is the FF battle the ball man and all his minions? Are you kidding me? First panel, Mole man and Reed battling. Second panel, Mole man and Reed battling. Third panel, uh, uh, Alicia and, and uh, Johnny flaming on. Are you kidding me? Then Reed battling the moment. Then, then Zorch battling the moment. This one's, uh, face it, folks, this one is just a great page. From 1978, another Bronze Age glorious page. 45 years old from the story titled Nightlife. Are you kidding me? Wow. With everybody battling the Mole Man. Holy Toledo. And his minion monsters. Joe Sinat sinking is just phenomenal there, too, folks. Holy moly. Thank you, Marcus. <laughs> it is a great page, man. I mean, Salvi Sema, uh, unmistakable here, and Sinat Sinks just and Sinat Sinking, so uh, Joe better. Sinat Sinking just does everything. So that's yeah. the first one, folks. And for the last one of the evening, oh, my goodness, another Bronze Age masterpiece. Are you kidding me? I think I had 10 Bronze Age masterpieces by the great Mike Grell, 1976. You know, when they canceled, they canceled for a short time the Green Lantern comic book. And then they just used the stories that they kept drawing and put them as backup features in Flash. 
So this is when the Green Lantern book was on hiatus. But 1976 is the backup story published in Flash 242. Beautiful splash from the story titled All Creatures Great and Small. The entire page is all drawn art, folks. Beautiful use of Zipatone. Just a great shot of Green Lantern flying towards Earth. Are you kidding me? As the three aliens. This is from the story titled All Creatures Great and Small. Green Lantern flying to outer space to Earth as three crazy aliens at the bottom plan their attack on Earth. Holy Toledo. That's a nice pair of artworks you got there, Mike. This one just knocks the grill out of it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> It and I even got some really cool, he did some really cool pencils on the back of it, too. All right, round 10, 10, 10, 10. See, what am I? I, I should drink some more Zevia, everybody. Look, this thing like goes with my shirt tonight, doesn't it? Man, Zevia, sugar free. See, yeah, they're the new uh show sponsor, didn't you know that, Anthony? Zevia, it comes in many different flavors. All right, round 10, back to Anthony. He's got two pieces to show, and then we're into the recap. So uh, let's see here. What do you got? Oh, oh, and you thought you'd never see another one of these. But, oh, no, 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 oh, no, no. Oh, no, not we... a Cosmic Odyssey. Oh, no, oh, yes. not a Cosmic Odyssey. <laughs> Sell it. Anthony, you're muted. Muted. You're muted. You're, 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 Anthony, we're you're doing out. fine, Anthony. You're doing fine. <laughs> My last, 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 newly signed by the Mignola when I saw him in San Diego. Stay classy, San Diego. Look at that. A cosmic odyssey splash of what they're all worried about. And Metron confronts it. It's alive. It's alive with a fresh. Magnolia signature. What are you doing? You need to help me sell some art. Oh, look at that. The journey ends sooner in the object. Blah, 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 blah. So he goes to the edge of time and finds time itself or something like that, right? The anti-life force is not merely an intellectual philosophical or philosophical. Philosophical, as they say in Ohio. Uh, concept, it is not a resource to be exploited or used in any fashion. Oh, uh, okay, so that is the anti life, uh, that uh, dark side's always looking for. Mm. Hey. Come on, somebody claim this so I can have a bite of cake. Yeah, um, you took a bite, I took a bite anyway. I need milk. Oh my god. Okay. So tell us about this Eastman. This is from the, the miniseries uh, Ninja Turtles and Usagi uh, Joe Jimbo. Yo Jimbo. Yo Jimbo. No Batman, but this is a, a, a great uh, crossover of the powerful sword wielding animal. Anamorphs. Anamorphic. Are they anamorphic? You can. Are they anamorphic? All right. So Kevin Eastman, uh, and it comes with a signed cover. Yep. I just got it from him a couple weeks ago. Yes. Yay. With Venus, right? Mm -hmm. No, that's not Venus. That's you. That's the rabbit. Oh, that's the rabbit. Sorry. And uh, you get a signed comic with it. So cool. if you want to do a framing. Yay. And a thug mom and a thug mom. She's got her ears in a, in a ponytail holder. It's a guy. Really? That's a guy. That's, That's a me. guy rabbit, right? It's not a girl rabbit. Now you're you're muted, Bill. Dang Billy's it. muted. I was uh -huh, muted. Billy. Uh -huh, Billy. Billy. Doggone it. I, I have a shortcut on my uh, computer, and I can clearly keep hitting it. All right. Yes. So <laughs> I'm back. Recap time, right, everybody? 
the what the, the Ragnarok the recap? I think so. Yeah, mute that guy. Thanks, Albert. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's one of those nights. But before we get to the recap, one reminder, you need to do this thing before we get to the recap. If you're still watching us right now, you know, you must do this. Oh, smash that like button. Rawr! 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 Yay, I love it. It looks like crummy I cake. Smash. Rami, hey, I put my gloves. <laughs> All right, now we can do the Ragnarok recap. Here we go. Let's get started here. That's Alberto throwing his shield in there. <laughs> it definitely was. I love that one. We usually only save that for uh, for the amateur dueling dealer special matches, time. but it's exactly special, special moments. It's a special show tonight. We're getting we're, we got through that pretty quickly. So uh, now we can move into the recap. Thirty seconds per artwork, and uh, yes, I lost out. I, I'm doing Zevia commercials instead of the Manscaped commercials. I don't know why. Zevia, Zevia pays better. That is that is why. But they come in many different flavors. There's actually a Dr. Zevia. Or no, is it called? Yeah, it is called Dr. Zevia. Just like Dr. Pepper. It's amazing. This is, uh, what is this? It. It's it's awesome. Honestly, zero calories, Mike. No sugar is in it. Is it like Fresca? Is it like a Fresca? It's better than Fresca. I'm, I'm hooked really? on it now. I don't need another Coke. Ever. Ever. And it's they just, have a Coke. But what is it? Lemon lime? What flavor? Sweet. This, this one's lemon lime twist. It's sweet okay. with stevia. So it's like a squirt, maybe. No, no, there is no stevia in it. It's all it's all natural. It's it's uh with what is it, stevia or whatever, but it's not stevia. stevia. Tell it's me what's in it. What's natural. in it? Oh my god. What's the sweetener? Stevia. It's not. You got carbonated water, citric acid, uh stevia leaf extract. Ah! Natural flavors. So stevia, stevia, but stevia is a plant. It is not an artificial sweetener. So it's good. For, it's okay for you. You're not drinking the artificial stuff. No sucralose. No, none of that. It's good for Bill as a squirt. Thank you, Jason. Sugar's a plant. I'm give you one of these when I see you, Buster. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. So, yeah, and for those of you that didn't get to see this on the cap update last week, or I showed it on the show last night, too. Look, look at this nice piece of art that I got from Mike. What look the? Where'd you get that? Look at that. For Mr. Berkey, it is the color guide to X-Men 101, first appearance of the Phoenix. And I am the proud owner of this one. Second I color see another guide. package behind you. I do. That I'll be opening that one tomorrow. That one is from Anthony. Uh, but this is the second color guide I've ever owned. The other uh, color guide I got, Mike, you gave it to me for free. It was the really? you just, you're, yeah, you, yeah, I know, surprise, right? You you uh, pulled it out of the safe one day, and you were like, "Would you like this?" And it was the color guide. I think the first page of uh, like X Men one twenty one or something. Oh, the, whatever the Colossus, Colossus one, whatever the Trial of Colossus ones. He had no Colossus, off to the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Off to the sides. A gift. John Byrne issue. Wow. Yeah, John Byrne. Yes, exactly. Thank you, Matt Titulio. Uh, it must have been worthless back then for you to give it to him. No, I was a nice guy. That, that was like 15 years ago, too, when you gave that to me, well, Mike. Right? That was a guy long for day. Hey, what about showing that cap shield signed by Stan Lee? Man, I paid 750 bucks for that, and I gave it to you because you're my pal. It's right right up there, signed right in the middle of the star. That, what that is the? Uh, Are you kidding me? But uh, I've got lots of books and other fun stuff from Anthony. Uh, Anthony, I've got that uh, Muppets uh, thing. What's not on the back wall here? It's hanging up in the house. The Muppet strip that you gave me. So I, yeah, yeah, I revoked the right for you to use Wallworthy. That's well, my saying. All right, all right. Well, Wallworthy for you. Wall power hey, for. Hey, Bill. Bottom line different. was those. Those went cheap. Yes, they did. <laughs> All right. We're going to start the recap now, everybody. Mike is in the lead. Six sales, $8,000. Anthony's got two sales, seventeen fifty. No but, uh, yep, I, I don't think Mike has a chance at all tonight. All right, 30 seconds per I, round. I don't get this one. I'm so far behind. I don't get it. I don't. <laughs> all right. Well, I do take PayPal, and I send these out with every order, our special yes, dueling does. dealers, and a portfolio if you like one. You got to ask now, though. 
Got to oh, ask for a portfolio because people are complaining they have too many of them now. But uh, all right, let's get this can thing you, rolling. Can you here. post Jeffrey C's comment for Anthony, please? Uh, I have to switch a tab here. Uh, oh, <laughs> just <to make> it. <laughs> like there's no chance of being defeated. <laughs> <laughs> I don't oh, get it. God. You don't? No, I don't get oh, it. Either. God, that is so funny. <laughs> Thank you, Jeffrey. <laughs> All right. All right. Here we go. 30 seconds per round. Mikey sold your 1A. So we're going to start off with your 1B tonight. Go ahead. Uh, Leo Duranona. Very cool. From 1979. I'm my first Bronze Age page the other day. I have 500 on it. I'll, it's semi splash. I'll go 400 bucks on it. Really nice pencil mink, Leo Duranona. The line work on this piece is really stunning, to tell you the truth. Beautiful 43, I'm sorry, 44-year-old page. Great page from the story Siege with a giant getting ready to step on these guys called the Horizon Seekers. 400 bucks. And you got now a lot of bricks on there. Bricks, bricks. Yes. <laughs> Trampled oh, underfoot. Nobody for 400. I have a sellout going so far after 1A. <laughs> one for one. Uh, I'll yeah. Tell you what, so, Bill, tell I will me. go 375 tonight only. All right. 375 it is. Uh, yeah. The, the uh, peasants don't stand a chance in that one, everybody. The peasants don't stand a chance. All right. So 375 on uh, Mike's yes. 1B. Next up for Mike is his 2A artwork by Mr. Marquez. Ooh, la, la. Check this out. Huge on canvas board. Beautiful, huge 20 by 16 inch painting on canvas board. I have 600 on it. I'll go 500 on it. Beautiful Conan looking character battling a giant snake. A winged gorilla with horns. The sexy nude sorceress casting a spell and three crazy fanged hyenas. How can he possibly get out of this dilemma? <laughs> beautiful, beautiful piece by Don Marquez. Beautiful painting. Wow. Now what's what are you uh what are you doing on this one? Well, I said 500, but Bill, yep. for tonight, I'll go 475. And what was the size on that one again? 20 by 16 inch art image, folks. Holy Toledo. Wow. It is huge. All right, so and, uh, uh, four, get, 475 get on that one. Little frisette bouté, huh? Indeed. All right, your 2B yeah, was sold 16, to uh, Collector Guy. 16, 475, folks. 475. All right, Collector Guy picked up your 2B, so we've got 3A next. Let's see, what do we got for that? I think that was that uh, Kurt Swan. And uh, here we go. Uh, the Swan? Yeah, Swanderson. Wow, that is a gorgeous piece. Holy moly. Superman in every panel. It's Chris I didn't know Swan. Superman had a son. I know he has a son called Chris K R Y S. I have six fifty on it. The lowest uh, four fifty on today. Uh, Ron, if we could do four seventy five, I'll do four seventy five. Let me know. It's a big, big, big piece. But uh, um, I'll do. F I can't believe it. I'll do five seventy five on this. I know it'll sell on the site. Superman in every panel. Kurt Swan, inked by Murphy Anderson, 52 years old. Are you kidding me? 52 oh, years old. This is just gorgeous. So, Mike, uh, 575, you said? Uh, 575 on that. All right. So, 575 on the 3A. Thank you, Ron, for your offer. Um, what do you Mike's think, Ron? The amazing Ron. Well, he, he offered 450 and you're at 475. Uh, and you're at 575 for the piece on the screen, correct? Right. Uh huh. All right. So that's uh, 3A for the Swanderson piece. Let's take a look at 3B now. And uh, that's for a pair of merchandising pinups. Uh, by the way, Jose Double, I'll go 600 bucks on it from 1985. Thanks, Ron. We have a deal on the big painting. Yes, we do. Thank you, Ron. And uh, six hundred bucks. Six hundred on this. Beautiful. One. Okay. You get the Flash battling the the giant metal hornets on this one as he's running and million running around on the water, causing a spout to stop the insects. Then a great pinup by the Flash holding the the defeated Green Lantern as 
dark side shoots laser blasts at him. Are you kidding me? 600 bucks. Very, very cool piece. Again, that is 38 years old. Wow. Those That's are very nice. Join the army. Wow, I can't believe it. Unbelievable. I was just entering high school. No, I wasn't. I was I was a wow. junior that year, actually. Gosh, time flies. All right, so both done on one board, and best price on this one, $600. Uh, uh, I'll tell you what. Since it worked, uh, tonight only, I'll do 575 575 Okay, 575 on 3A and 3B. So, 4A, 4B, and 5A all sold, Mike. So, we got to jump all the way up to 5B here. And yeah, go all the way to 5B. The, the real nice Swamp Thing page with Swamp Thing all over it from 1982. Another Bronze Age page. Um, I'll do 1100 bucks on it. Last page for the really cool story. The town has turned to blood. Welcome to Rosewood which is like a horror town where they're going to. Beautiful page with a swamp thing and the little witch known as Casey Clancy riding on a train going to Rosewood. 1100 bucks. Beautiful swamp thing page with swamp thing throughout. Pencil ink by the great Tom Yates. 41 years old. Another late Bronze Age page for your offerings tonight, folks. That is a very uh, nice swamp thing, that's for sure. Very cool so, page, last page of the book. So eleven hundred dollars on this yeah. one. Yeah, eleven hundred. Yeah, Bronze Age. They consider Bronze Age from seventy-one to eighty-four, is what uh, Wikipedia has the Bronze Age at, which I sort of, which I agree with, seventy-one to eighty-four. Then the Copper Age from uh, eighty-five to ninety-four. I don't know how they come up with those. Um, I, I always dictate. I always wonder where, when the Silver Age ends. A lot of people say the Silver Age started with Spidey one twenty two, but I, I always say nineteen seventy one. I say starts the Silver Age. I'm sorry, the Bronze Age. I feel the Silver Age stopped at seventy seventy one, right around there. All right, right, so books to me, when books hit like started to hit fifteen cents, mm -hmm. they're uh, before twenty. But uh, so anyway. All right, so eleven hundred on your five B. Next up, six eleven hundred. Yes, and we've got the uh, Gonzalo Mayo, the uh, Vampirella from nineteen seventy eight. Page nineteen seventy eight. Another Bronze Age page. Um, I will go twelve fifty on this, folks. I'll knock off two fifty. Vampirella in every single panel. Her pages are going getting harder and harder to find, and they're going higher and higher and higher at auctions. Very cool piece. I bought a set of them from this issue. This is my very last page uh, that I'd gotten from this issue. I had three of them. This is my third and my best and last page. Sold the first one right away on the show. It only had like one panel of her. But this is the best one with Van Helsing, Conrad Van Helsing, Adam Van Helsing, and Vampirilla in all five panels. Bio, pencils, inks, and wash from the Gathering of Demons. Twelve fifty. Wow. That's a nice one, and that's on uh, it's on eleven by seventeen board. board. Yeah, and it just has an overlay with the word blooms on regular art board. Yep, Vampy seventy three, very cool piece, twelve fifty. All righty, twelve fifty wow. on Mike's six A. So next up, we got six B. That was that was a little doozy there. It was. Now we got this uh, Kieran Grant Sandman uh, number Kieran one. Kieran Grant cover. Sandman number one, mixed media published cover. Uh, I'll go fifteen hundred bucks. Really nice on 11 by 17 board. And the first issue of the original Sandman gets his own book finally. Very, cool, very, very cool. Signed at the bottom right. Published. First issue cover on 11 by 17 artboard mixed media. With like, almost looks like watercolor with pen and ink. Crazy, but published cover. Check out the published image in the bottom right. 1500 bucks. Actually, Bill, for tonight only, I will do fourteen fifty on this one. Fourteen fifty. First fourteen fifty gets it. Signed by Kieran Grant in the bottom, bottom right. Sandman first issue published cover. All right, and we do package deals, right, Mike? And we do package deals. Yes, we do. I know. Uh, perfect. All right, so fourteen fifty on six B. Fourteen fifty. Wow. Next up, what do we got here? 7A. 
That is uh, Jughead wow. with the ladies. Again, another Silver Age. Large art. Dan DiCarlo. Published. Page one. Uh, Two-thirds splash. Beautiful Betty, Veronica, and Jughead from Jughead 129. From the story, aptly titled Dream Boy. As Betty and Veronica are fighting over Jughead. As Veronica gives him a beautiful treasure chest of silver and gold and jewelries and betty jumps out the window to kill herself farewell cruel world yeah in the story you find out he's dreaming of course <laughs> but beautiful 1965 large art dan de carlo oh I've, i'm sorry i have 1600 on it i will go 1400 tonight only 1400 i was gonna say what's your best price mike I know. Okay. I said I forgot to say the price. I pulled an Anthony. Sorry about that. You beat me to it. All right. So fourteen hundred dollars ah, on their phone. Ah, fourteen hundred bucks. Hard to find. Dan DiCarlo twice a bar. Fourteen hundred bucks for a splash, folks. I would agree with, with you the there. two babes. With the two babes on it yet. People want Betty and Veronica more than Archie on these. He's breaking hearts. All right. So fourteen hundred dollars on this one. We got the Brian Stelfreeze uh, DC mug art uh, Ooh, next. La la. Check this out. The, the Brian Stelfreeze, and he signed it in the upper right here, right over here. A beautiful piece, 1800 Uh Folks, I'll, I'll go uh, 60 Matter of fact, just to cut to the chase, I'll go 1500 bucks just to get a sale and get this done. 1500 gets it. Beautiful 1990s wraparound illustration featuring Wonder Woman, Supergirl, Batgirl, Catwoman, and Poison Ivy with a great background and signed by Brian Stelfreeze from the 90s. So this is 20 plus years old, folks. 17 by 8.25 inches. Does Cantankerous Collector, you really own that mug? Boy, I'd love for you to send me an image of it if you can. I'd really appreciate it. He well, owns the mug. How about that? So, folks, proving that it is published. I did get uh, a, and I didn't start the clock, so I need to do a ding, ding, ding. That's but okay. uh, 1500 bucks, folks. First 1500 gets it. Yes, and I can show you because, uh, well, I got uh, Derek sent me an email. It's probably to the same one here, but I saw Ray uh, Ray Cuthbert or Cuthbert, sorry, Ray uh, had actually put a link into uh, the, the uh, chat from Facebook, so nobody could see it but me. So let me go What's over that? here. The the actual uh, oh the mug. I'd here. love to see it. I've never been able to see it. Yeah. Well, here, let me come on. Things are a little slow here in the studio. Oh, there but, it is. Uh, yep. So there you have it. It does exist. How about that? I don't know if the same link that Derek sent me, but this is the one that uh, Ray put into Facebook for us a little bit ago. Thanks, Ray. Right. That's it. I forgot about. It took all the backgrounds out. Weird. Yeah, isn't that funny? Yeah, yeah that is yeah, odd. I love right? that. Mark Fong. Is that a mug shot? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Mark. That's uh, a good one. All right, so Mike, I, I apologize. What was your best 1500. price? Fifteen hundred on the on that. All right, yep. got it. Sorry, I was trying to pull that up, so I was not looking. If somebody wants it, I will give them free shipping. Yes, you hear that, everybody? Fifteen hundred dollars. Free shipping for you, free, Marcus. Free shipping on the mug shot. So really, it's all right, seventy-five because it costs twenty-five to ship. So anyway, fifteen hundred shipped. As long as you live in the states, of course. <laughs> all right. Moving right along, 8A. Next up, what do we got? We got that Joe Staten piece. Ooh la la, the beautiful Joe Staten. This is a great one of the best pages from the from the death of Batman, Earth 2 Batman. Beautiful. If you're a fan of the Huntress, 70s Huntress, you get Golden Age Green Lantern and the Huntress and the Earth 2 Robin all battling and getting beat up by the evil guy in the story. Um, um, where is he at? Where is he at? What's his name? I can't remember the guy's name. But anyway, uh, 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 Bill Jensen, oddly enough. Somebody must have won a contest, Bill Jensen. They made him the villain. Anyway, I have 2000 on this, folks. I will go uh, I will go uh, 1850 on it. What was 18. my sick day? That was the uh, Vampirella piece that was priced at 1250 so congrats to Paul. Oh, Paul, for you got it for 1250 sure. And what you said, eighteen hundred on the Staten? Uh, eighteen fifty. Eighteen fifty. Okay. Paul gets that. Oh wait, whoops, grabbed the wrong one. 
What the vampy? Yeah, the vampy's good. The stuff. Gonzalo piece. Yeah, with my the last Bronze Age Gonzalo Mayo vampy. Thanks, Paul. Definitely. Thank you very much, Paul. Uh, all right, so, so, so eighteen fifty. Eighteen fifty gets it. Okie dokie. All right, we're moving on to uh, what do we got? Eight B next. That one was oh, that's right, the Will Eisner. Will Eisner. Uh, folks, um, uh, it's just such a unique piece. I will go twenty two hundred on this. Hard to hard to get pencil linked oversized forties. Uh, Will Eisner. So I'll go twenty two hundred on it. The size of this. Oh, wait, let me scroll. In. It's actually 16 and a half by 23.75 inch artboard from the story titled The Prisoner of Don John. Guy's been held captive in prison since 1911 and he doesn't want to leave. That Beautiful is a cool page. 75 year old Will Eisner spirit page published. And what was uh, what's the best price? Where are, we, where are you going at with the price on this one? Uh, 2200 22 All right. You know but what, Bill? I'll tell you what. Not... Bill, yep. for tonight only, I'll go. I'm, I'm going to put on the cipher 25 but I'll go 2100 tonight just to keep things going strong for somebody. 2100 tonight only. All right. $2,100, everybody. If the spirit was on there, it would be quite a bit more than that. Oh, yeah. And it's even stamped August 29th, 1948. There at the top. All right, now, Jiggy, got your 9A, so let's take a look at 9B. That was the Ross Andrew Amazing Spider-Man page. Uh, folks, I'll, I'll go uh, 4200 on this. The second appearance of a hitman who first appeared in Spectacular Spider-Man number seven. But the guy, I think the guy is patterned after... Uh, 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 why am I drawing a blank? You uh, tell me. Uh, uh, yeah, Joe, uh, the Punisher. The little guy, the little guy that worked at Marvel. Uh, 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 the the writer, little guy uh, that worked. Who's the uh, little guy that worked uh, at Marvel? Uh, 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 took over for Stan writing in '65. Roy What's Thomas. Roy Same Thomas. Meaning. I believe yes. he looks like Roy Thomas there. I said it first time. I just drew a blank. Anyway, then also you get Peter, uh, Harry, and uh, Flash at the bottom. Anyway, forty-two hundred bucks, folks. I'll go forty-two hundred bucks on this. And look at that. You got a Hot Wheel in that second panel. Look at that thing. That is yeah. not a real car. That is a Hot Wheel. Wow. That's Too the bad that was a Spider-Mobile. <laughs> That's a Stingray uh, right. Corvette. That's what they looked like in 77, folks. So, uh, Stingray okay. Corvette. I was, I, I was too young to remember that. All right. So uh, $4,200 $4, on that one. We got, we got two more pieces to look at here. Wow. And uh, first one, what do we got? Uh, oh, it's that Salvi Stingray Ghost in a... Gorgeous looking all out battle page with the FF battling the mole man. Are you kidding me? Uh, folks, tonight only I'll go 6,600, say. But uh, 6,600, great, great battle page. Johnny flaming on the mole man, his minions. And we have uh, we have uh, Alicia and Sue there in the middle panel as well as Johnny flaming on. Very, very cool piece. Sal Basama, Ink by the Great Joe Sinat, 1978, 45 years old. Phenomenal, beautiful battle page. Well, it certainly is, Mike. So, uh, 6,500. 6,500. Okay. Yep. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Johnny should be screaming flame on. So I said, I noticed he changed it. He didn't say flame on, but. He said everything but that. Hey, Sue, I may be your little brother, but I'm also the Human Torch. Well, that's an awesome yeah. page, though. All right. And uh, can't Joseph take your talk with like the FF is too. just incomparable, folks. All right. And last but last not least, piece, micro. Again, another Bronze Age splash masterpiece by the great Mike Grell drawing Green Lantern. Holy Toledo. I said his most famous stuff is Spectre and Green Lantern. Where did he get a Green Lantern? 1976 Mike Rowe Green Lantern splash page, folks. I'll do I'll do uh I'll do sixty nine hundred. I was gonna say seven grand, but sixty nine hundred. Beautiful, beautiful Mike Rowe splash. We're talking 
57. I'm sorry, 47 years old. Wow. Everything is drawn, folks. Everything is drawn on this, too. The zip a tone, the backgrounds, everything is drawn on this, except, except the little stat, the Green Lantern stat there. Every single thing is drawn. Word balloons, everything. The entire piece is all art. Other than the little Green Lantern thing in the center. So beautiful piece. All so right. Everything for you, folks. Thanks for uh, the, the uh, pickups we'll there, time. everybody. And again, we do very fair time payments. If you want anything, give a shout out in the chats. Getting stuff from you. All these are available. So give me a shout out tonight. Look at this. And, I'm gonna, uh, they're yours. I'm sending a Snapchat to the family in Tokyo. Oh, wait, Sharon, get back. Come back, Sharon. They want to see the dog. We want to, yeah, come on, Sharon. I thought I, gotta, I saw I'm a dog in the at the chair, Tokyo right I? now. What, Mike? I thought we saw the doggy in the chair. I know, but I want to, Sharon, you gotta, we got to see you just kneel down just a tiny bit. Mike, get the art out of your face. This is going to my family. Okay, yeah, we're going to have a big piece of art over your face. Stop that. There we go. Thank you. Now I can send it. Thank you. Thank you. All right. See, you made the family happy. They're probably sitting down to play Pokemon right now. Um, okay. Well, Yay. Here we go, Anthony. We get to do the recap now, my friend. We've got recap. a lot of ground to cover. What do you think? Winner? It's You can't declare yourself the winner yet, Mike. No, that's the doggy. The doggy's a winner. I'm doing in honor of the doggy. Oh, the doggy's the winner. Okay. The doggy's the winner. <laughs> uh, I will pass that along, Timothy Finney. Um, all right, Anthony, let's get this thing started. We are all, all right, let's uh, go. Yeah, one A. We start off at one A. What, what do you got? That Luke Ross. That Luke Ross. Sharon, Sharon with, with the sword. sword. How about four hun on this beautiful witchblade, like full figurey, splashy insert page? Look at that. Come on, like, Sharon, sell it. That's four like, hun. like Kill Bill pose right there. Look at that. Kill Bill, yeah. Uma Thurman, Sharon. Uma Sharon Thurman. Yeah, woo! Only go, how much, Anthony? Go 400? get your sword out. Did you say four hundred? Yeah, four hundred. Three seventy-five. How about three seventy-five? All right. Woo. Getting those numbers out quick. Getting those numbers out quick. That's what we need. That is what we need. Uh, so three seventy-five. Yes. Yeah, she's very wet. She's got moisture all over her. I think it's blood. I think you might be right. So, all right, so three right. seventy five. So we got the Sharon, and then we got the Anthony. Oh, look at that man thing panel. Who's that? The, uh, that guy looks like the Red Ghost or something, but he's got the Tesseract Cosmic Cube, and he's making a wish for a giant sized man thing. Yeah. Sell it, Sharon. I got a dirty look on that one. All right. Well, it's a it's a good looking thing. Look at look at his brow, man. He has got one big brow, and uh, a, he needs a brow beating. All right. So did we? I think you're going to get a brow price? beating tonight. How about four hund? Four hund. Uh, okay, four hund works. Let's see. Gwen's probably playing right now. Ashton's the one who's in the world championship, though. Gwen and Maureen and Emma are doing side. Side events, side events, but we want them all to win. Yeah. But uh, we're, we're going at four hundred dollars on this one, right, Anthony? Yeah. All right. It's a burn brow. That's actually, uh, you know, the way I, I always like the way John Byrne kind of, kind of funked around with his uh, brow like that. It was cool. So uh, okay, so we got uh, four hundred on that one. Next up. Now we got the X Men round of the Bacello and the Dodson. We got this cool ice manny guy with all kinds of icicles poking at him, poking at him, poking you were at four, him. You were at four ninety five on that one, Anthony. Ah, uh, how about four fifty? I can do four fifty. And remember, everybody that claims gets their name on the spinny wheel for a hundred dollar gift certificate on their next order from the website that has five hundred new things on it. Whoa. Oh, Dodson, so clean. Look how shiny that is, just in black and white. There's shiny colossus. The oh, there's some layouts on the back. That's cool. I love it when there's stuff on the back. Some layouts on the back. 
All right, where are we at? Well, uh, I just want to make sure you're at 450 on that one. 450 on? On the Iceman. Oh, okay, on the Iceman. You, that's what we're sticking with on that one? Oh, well, do you want four and a quarter? I'll do four and a quarter. Okay, we'll put it We'll put it at four and a quarter. Four and a quarter, everybody. You can't buy this from Chris at this price any longer. Yeah. They, uh, they are, what, like six fifty seven hundred dollars you know, starting. So... There you go. Iceman uh, by Chris. Next up, we have, what was that? Uh, the other, oh, the Dotson piece, of course. So what are you thinking on this one, Anthony? Uh, Terry Dodson, I'll do uh, Desi Amp. I'll do, what did I say, 400 even? On uh, Well, this is 2B, and you're getting an offer from Desi Amp at uh, 350. You were, I mean, you were at 475 while we were in the round in the oh, okay round. so i'll do 400 desi b 400 yeah desi you dropped it by 25 dollars. 400 paul pap is 425 on the thank you paul my Money fellow item. greek compatriot oh you got this uh yeah paul's got the the cello yay and Thank you, Paul. Desi Amp's going to do 400 on. Look at that, Dodson. Look at how cool that is. All right. So That's you're your second favorite hundred. x -Men, isn't it, Bill? Colossus. It is. Colossus is number two. Exactly. So uh, yes, of course, it's over yeah. pencils. This is uh, Terry and uh, Rachel. Traditional yep. art. Terry and Rachel. So thank you, uh, Desi Amp. For that pickup and paul as well and uh you are correct jeffrey moy they did go to aki akiabara i i saw it in their in their snapchats that was the location they were at that i was getting yesterday so all right so those those have sold so now we can uh, alberto got the twofer in round three so we're going to 4a right now and uh let's see anthony all right four. we're getting something done but we need to make some more progress here guys Amanda Connor, come on. Barbie's so hot right now. And then inked by Steve Lee Aloha. So you got a different sort of feel on it than the, everything you get from her husband, the great inking Palmiati. Look at that. This is by Steve Lee Aloha back in the day. Look at awesome. that. Barbie. Barbie. What? Look at the Barbies. <laughs> Sell it, Sharon. I love this. Yeah, it's she loves everything. it. I mean, I, it's playtime at its best. This is very claimy at a thousand. I'm gonna have to stick to a thousand, really. So you can do that. That is your I'll prerogative. Nine seventy-five. It's, it's got the drool. It's got the Barbie. It's the got Ken. three Barbies and Kens. Two Barbies and two cats and a naked Barbie. What? Where? She's all plastic. She's got to uh, go, go to the doctor and get her stuff yes. installed. All right. So Spoiler it's uh, alert. 975. 975. 950. 950. All right. 950 on the Amanda Connor crazy. cover. Uh, an Amanda Connor cover for 950 bucks. Ugh. Amazing. Now we've got the uh, Jim Lawson Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle cover. I'll Price do at a thousand. Be on this one too. Little orphan aliens. Little orphan aliens. Ugh. So that uh, that picture shows it best. I mean, it is it is a little. Uh, uh oh. What fell? It's uh, all right. It's the wheel. Oh, the wheel fell. So, no problem. Okay, so it is a little um, shorter. Where's your tape measure, Sharon? Dude. Oh, we got it at 10 by 14. 14. Yeah. The, well, that's my new uh, art room assistant, like being thorough. Okay, yeah. so you got the Ninja Turtles at 950. 950 for the Ninja Turtle and 950 for the uh, Sulfur. Claim me at a thousand. I should have gone in the first round. Hey, I, I like both covers. All right, let's take a look at uh, your round five stuff. So what do we got here? You Greg want Land. both covers? I'll do 1,800 on both covers. Woo! 1,800. 
18 package on. deals, everybody. Anthony does package deals too. I show my package deal. Not on the channel, you don't. Uh, all right, so 1800 for the pair if you want them, but uh, we're moving over to this Greg Land Avengers Beyond splash page. All I don't right. Cy Cyclops is faking it, I think. He he probably gets up in, in a second and blasts that guy. He's drooling. Uh, he's out. Pieces. Look at yeah, that. Things he just got stared like at. I do. That's oh. how I look like, like I'm sleeping with my sleep apnea. All right. Well, that's uh, that is a good one. But what what's the price on it? I forgot to hit the darn clock. All right, this is a rep piece. I'll do fourteen hundred on it. It's a big splash of the villain, and then some defeated heroes of me and Sharon and Bill and Berkey. Oh, yay! All of our avatars. Yeah, we are all unconscious. Yeah, we do kind of go. Yeah, we've we've done that before. Uh, Marvel Boy, yes, that is still available. Uh, so, so Anthony, though, what's the best price on this one? Fourteen hundred. Fourteen hundred. We're sticking to fourteen. It's a rep piece, so I know you don't have yeah. a lot of a lot of wiggle room on it. Yeah. So yeah. I have the rest of the pages, but these were the two best splashes on my website. So now we have the Captain America action splash. Wow, Avengers Beyond, Greg Land, Jay Lyston. Look at that fighting the wow. big villain of the book ready to put his fist down i could do 16 on this one very wall capable page of the captain america come putting the fist down Ray on the Lynn, villain fist of fury 16 on that one Now is that uh, some ink wash on there? Is that is that what Jay's doing? Uh, you know, it's uh, there's some stuff flying off of him. Yeah, a little bit. Maybe he's coming out of the water or some kind of plasma goric plasma uh, energy thing is dropping in on. Pretty cool. All right, so sixteen hundred dollars on Anthony's five B, and of course, next up six A. What do we got? Um, I'll do oh. fifteen fifty on the cap. Come on, fifteen fifty. All right, fifteen fifty on five B. Now we've got a pair of Avengers pages here for six A and six B. First up is uh, that uh, Stuart Johnson Tom Palmer page. You were at twelve fifty at. Yep. Avengers in their leather jackets. <laughs> Lots of leather jackets on this one. Great, great shot of Black Widow there in the A jackets. And Hercules, Crystal, Black Widow. And they all root for Anthony to win dueling dealers. And yeah. Wear, wear their A gear. <laughs> their A gear. They do. Okay, so uh, what are we going at? What are we sticking with here on the final price? All right, so we got this one at twelve fifty. All right, best I can do is thousand dollars. Thousand dollars on the six A. All right. For a Tom Palmer Ink Avengers page, with wow! Featuring Black Widow, Thor, Hercules, and Crystal. All right, that's a nice one. Now uh, we've got another Tom Palmer inked Avengers page, but uh, pencils by Epting on this one. Yeah, pencils by Epting. Well, yeah, pe pencils by Epting. So this is Epting and Palmer of Firestar. And I'll, again, I'll do a thousand on this one. Woo! Firestar, Sharon, you look good. Yes! Fiery hair and a bodysuit. That's Go. awesome. Go. Cosplay awesome. is that. Did this work? It yeah, did. Almost. It did work. <laughs> uh, and I, I keep forgetting to hit that start button on the clock. But uh, so a thousand dollars for for both pieces. Uh, you get six A of one thousand, six B of one thousand. Yep. Very nice. Uh, I like them both. Um, what do we got next here? Oh, oh, we're moving to the DPSs now, aren't we now? Ooh, uh, this is cool stuff. The first one is the Aquaman piece, and it's huge. 
Marvel Boy. I have this one has Marvel Boy on it. Yeah, you were showing Marvel Boy on the screen, and Marvel Boy was picking up a piece of art from Mike in the chat. Yeah, (laughs) thanks. We appreciate you, Mark Marvel Boy. All All right, right, Paul. Thank you. Thank you. Getting in there. I'll do nine hundred on the on the turtles cover. Thank you. Oh, that's a good pickup, Paul. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Thank you, Paul, for Can trying to make my time? night a success. Oh, my God. Uh, Anthony, you did, you did get an offer from Aranga on the 6A piece. That was the Stuart Johnson, uh, the Avengers in their, in their leather jackets. Yes, Aranga. We all know and love Aranga. He's offering you 850 on that page. Ah, uh, come on. Uh, that's below cost. I got into these hard. I'll do 900 for you because we did a funny video together. The Force best, perspective. The best video. I'll show this again. Aranga held his own. He, I, we started a video, but then I had to go make a sale, and uh, you know he was he uh, rolled with it. So 900 for you. I did forget to show that last week. I will try to dig that back up and uh, show it on the calf update tomorrow. But uh, all right, so 900 over to you, Aranga. Thank you for the offer. It was a great uh, great piece and a fair offer as well. So, uh, Come on, you okay. said you sold like 30 pieces at Terrificon, so part with some of that uh, nice earned money for your well, He art. did. He just, he's, he's claimed it. Claimed Thank it you, at uh, the $900. Thank you, Aranga. Aranga. Yeah. That's an Aranga deal. You say Aranga, I say (laughs) Aranga. All right. Now we can talk about the Aquaman piece. This is big uh, enough for a Hollywood backdrop. Look at that. Look. Wait. Oh, it is. You got got a Lord of the Sea with the, I don't know if it's Aquaman. It's more like a Neptune uh, character. There's all kinds of fishies. Oh, my God. There's like one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's fishies everywhere. Detailed. And seahorses. Big, big piece. Gonzalo Mayo. I'll do 1250 on this one. 1250. Yeah, I can show the uh, larger image for everybody. One last time. Ah, gorgeous mermaid over there. Yeah, she's, gorgeous. she's awesome, and she's got some mer haunches, mer haunches, etc. Yeah, and looks like she's got great, starfish in all the right places too. And great mammarages, this, this, this. starfish. I think there's starfish. Mammarage. Uh, all right. So next up, what do we got? That uh, Tom Durenick, uh, Bill Sienkiewicz, Rain in Hell DPS. Durenick. Durenick. Yeah, Durenick. Durenick. What did I, I did business with him ten times at Terrificon. I know his name. It's Durenick. Durenick. Yeah. All right. I asked him. All right. So this is uh, by Bill S. for Sinkowitz. It's Durenick and Sinkowitz. Look at What's that. your best price on this one, sir? Look at that. Come on, a TPS ink by Bill. Oh my God. With original tape. You don't get that that too often from uh, Anthony's comic no, book art. No, com. no, once it goes awesome. to my books, I got to take the tape off and yeah. put it in and uh, display it right. Original tape. Uh, 1600 All right, 1600 on that. And you did get an offer here from uh, Alberto. He's offering you $2,250 for the Amanda Connor cover and the cap uh dps and so let's see the cap dps you were at no 15... the cap splashed um oh i'm sorry yeah, i'm sorry i was saying dps i meant splash yeah 1550 on uh that one and you and the what would you go to we went to 950 on the other so you were at 25 uh well yeah you were 2500 and alberto's offering you 2250. i gotta edge up a little bit uh do 2350 for me because this is a repped piece I'm supposed to net 1500 on the caps splash. Uh, so just a little bit. 2350. 
All right. So uh, thank you for the offer at 2250 Alberto for the pair of artworks. Your second offer on a pair of artworks tonight, but Anthony has countered with 2350 for the pair. I'd do it if I own the cap splash, but I got to get a little bit more on the rep piece. Oops. All right. Well, uh, he could think about it. So uh, you are doing 1600 on the Durenic? Correct? The one on the screen? Yeah. No, uh, you know what? I'll do 15 on it. The Bilson Kevich inks. I mean, that's the, that's the all important. I would agree. All right, so uh, 1500 on that. Frank Robert Johnson wanted to know what your best price was on uh, the 7A. That 1100 on the on the on the Aquaman. Okay, well, it's not Aquaman because or it was whoever it's Poseidon, War. it's somebody. It's yes. more like a Neptune piece, like King of the King of the Oceans, and great. So uh, 1100 and uh, Alberto 23 even. All right. Well, Alberto's thinking about it. 23 even on those two pieces. So, uh, and 1500 on the artwork on the screen. So we're going to move right along a little bit here. Where are we going to, uh, your 8A artwork next? Yeah, that was the, no. Alberto uh, says, okay, on 2300. Thank you, Alberto. Yes, he did. Thank you so much, Alberto. Yeah. Congratulations. So that's four claims for Alberto on the wheel. He's got uh, four chances at winning that hundred dollars tonight. Yay. All right, good claim there by Alberto. And of course, I started the clock on time, and I might as well just stop it because we haven't started talking about this artwork yet. All right, all right. Frank Robert Johnson, ten fifty on this big piece of mayo art. If you pay right away. Well, okay, now. Now we can talk about the Gene Colon artwork, right? Yeah, sure. That's your 8A artwork. I'm grinding it. This is like a show where I just grind and grind and get a big sale. Look at that. Now we got a Gene Colon. Looks looks really good. Uh, great movement throughout and uh, just great perspectives. Ways moving your eye along the page. Uh, I'll do 1250 on this one. Twelve fifty on this Gene Colon uh, Black Panther, <laughs> Gene Colon Hall of Famer. Okay, that is a nice one. Yeah, Black Panther in four panels, right? Nothing wrong with that. Uh, all right. So what do we got next? We got the eight uh, B coming up next. And for those of you who are curious about the score, I can tell you Mike is uh, at eleven thousand two twenty-five, and Anthony is at six thousand five seventy-five. Come on, Nine. I got some making up to do. Help me, Sharon. Talk Next about up. Hunk Look at that. Thor. Hunk a hunk of Thor. You know you got Xavier, it. Yay. Nice. No? Yeah, it's I say the nay? Mighty, mighty. Let the dog hang <laughs> out. All right. So, uh, Ron, friends, Joe Sinnott, Mighty Thor 424. You got Celestials in this thing. Nice shot at Thor there in the bottom. What's your best price on this one, sir? All right, we'll do twelve fifty on this one too. Twelve fifty. Twelve fifty for a Joe Sinnott ink got page. Thor on the bottom. Look at that great group shot with and everybody what? there. He's got Sharon over here saying, "Oh, Chris Hemsworth, why don't you notice me?" Um, okay. All right, so twelve fifty on that one, and twelve fifty on the Gene Colon, both yeah, around eight pieces. Package, package. Yeah, you got a package price for the pair. I don't know. It doesn't look like no. he's got much of a package there. His suit's pretty tight. Yeah. Uh, all right, moving Four. right along to your round nine artworks. Here we go. Nine A is uh, the Trimpy Abel Godzilla page. Oh, it's got F the hand. And the thing, and the moon oh. boy, and the hag, and then Dum Dum, whose whole costume I have from Captain America. Which is incredible. Yeah. I I dig this. This is right in my wheelhouse where I was buying comics. Uh, 20 centers. 
What do you think on the price there? Too even. Too even. Too even. All right. So 2000 on your 9A. The hands. You got the hand of Mr. Fantastic, which is me. And the thing. Beyond. And then the hag. It's awesome. Hey, and speaking awesome. of the thing, I remember uh, you know, somebody posted this several pieces ago but they wanted to see that uh thing piece from your 1b again so i'm pulling it back up i don't remember who it was but they asked about sadowski eight minutes ago uh so yes here is that uh, 1b artwork with the thing on it it is at 400 dollars. so apologies uh i didn't remember until i saw the the thing in that godzilla page that it was asked so All right, well, we can uh, pull it back up and do 375 just to get some fresh blood. Look at that man thing. And it looks like the red ghost. Mm, punching him right in his schnozzle right there, huh? With, with Schlemiel. the Schlemiel. Schlemiel. 350 is okay. I'll do 350. All right, put uh, the collector dome. For ah, it was the collector dome who asked that. All right, collector dome. Congrats. 350 Yay. on that one. Thank you very, very much. Collector Dome. And remember, I take PayPal, so I'll be sending out PayPal invoices tonight. If you're in my email box, no problem. If we haven't done a deal in a while, send me an email saying I got what I got. Or, you know, or just do that anyway. That is true. We'll get uh, the email addresses up on the screen at the end of the show. Um, whoop, wrong one there. Uh, sorry. Wait, what's Mike's changing his clothes and everything. I'm sorry. Oh, he's doing for he's going At least for the he, Hulk I'm glad he had his clothes Hulk on when Hulk I, when I over Hulk he is breaking the Hulk cologne out. Uh all right. So next I up nine B. I can't believe it's still on the board. What's that? Uh, this one I can't believe is still on the board. Kelly yeah, Jones. That needs to go to a wall in your this house. Wall capable art, Kelly Jones. Wow, from Bloodstorm with Selena Kyle turned into the wear cat. As she wears out the werewolf and every last drop of your foul black blood. Yes. It is foul. All right. But uh, what is 26. your best price on this one? Twenty-six. Twenty-six hundred dollars. Well, very hard to come by these pages and uh, of this artist. It's a great example from this. Uh, where everybody was a vampire and everybody was getting drained and staked and staked through the heart. That was happening. Staked through the heart and you're to blame. Your cholesterol is insane. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, $2,600 on the Kelly Jones, John Beatty, Bloodstorm page. We've got okay. two more pieces to look at here. So uh, let's see here. What do we got? Oh, well, of course, the Cosmic Odyssey. Cosmic Odyssey. Oh, they, they, that is what, this is what uh, Dark Side's been looking for is the anti-life equation. And, that, and then the anti-life is a sentient being, intelligent and aware of its own existence. It's alive! So that's what Dark Side's been looking for his whole time, his whole means of existence is going on with the, the anti-life equation and Metron finds him. So this is basically a very poignant point in this whole storyline. I'll do 3,000. Poignant point. Poignant, large art splash, signed by the Magnolia at San Diego when he was given art to Sharon. Where's that art he gave you, Sharon? Oh, so cool. Tentacle head. He gave Sharon tentacle head. Yeah. All right, so three grand on this for all you DC of files. Three grand even. All right. Yeah, big can. Surprise, man. It is. I agree. And it's on, you know, that oversized board. So this is DC paper. Wow, that is oversized. You know, DC paper is just a little bigger than Marvel paper, and that's the oversized uh, in-between uh, large artboard. All right, we got one more piece to look at. And that, of course, is the Kevin Eastman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Yusaki Yojimbo cover. Wow, I thought this one would go. I've been saving it for the show. 
So this one is the Eastman with the bunny. And it comes with the signed comic. It's so amazing. Look at that. Stan Sakai's sig signature character with Kevin Eastman's signature character. I agree. It's a great cover. It is. Great cover. That'll go quick from the WS. Yes, exactly. But what's your best price tonight? Uh, what do we got? Well, you had a price of four thousand. Yeah, four even. Yep, four even. Four even. All right. Well, it's a it's a gorgeous uh, gorgeous piece. Love it. Well, let's go back to uh, Mike dressed as the Hulk. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> I like going first. That way I can put my stuff in the bags and tape them back up. It saves me time. Oh, see. Yeah, you're doing some of the clerical work. I get it. Not a bad idea. Uh, one man oh. show over here. Here, let me get the score updated. I forgot to save the window. Any Basically, last edit a text folks, file. Any last offers? I'm here. Kelly scores, Jones, how is this still here? I scores that are accurate, gone. everybody. As you see. And Nine sales a piece. We're here. Mike, Mike's got a uh, four thousand. Uh, what he's got? Uh, two hundred seventy-five dollar lead. Four thousand two hundred seventy-five. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. We got to one hundred forty-four. Oh, one forty-five. Anybody who's still here who hasn't hit the thumbs up button, you know what to do. You got to hit the thumbs up. Hit Smash the like up button. It's definitely not going to beat Mike tonight with these these pieces. This this is crazy. Man. It's offers. good stuff, Anthony. You brought. Really good stuff tonight. All A-list artists. Look, Gene Cohen, Bill Sienkiewicz. I mean, uh, I'm, not, I'm not arguing with you. You got the Luke Ross still out there. I mean, come on. Trimpy, Magnola, Eastman. Flip your will. Flip your will. I mean, the there. Avengers what, page, Epting, is still available. Name? The Yeah, that's true. That one was a great page, too. Firestar or something, right? Was uh, who was on that one? Firestar yeah. and Marvel Boy. Alan, yeah. let's do it. Love that Charles E. Well, How we much should. Do I need. You need four thousand, four thousand uh, two hundred seventy-five dollars. Ah, I'll do you thirty-eight gotta, gotta, on the turtles. Get it now. Thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. Flip that wheel, Sharon. Right. Well, I guess I'm going to call it for you uh, guys. And, and we, and it, hey, yeah, we'd like to get to 150 if we could get there, but uh, we'll see. But here, let me go ahead and play the winning meme just uh, for what Mr. The, after another dueling dealer victory over Anthony Schneider, Hulk liked to relax and put on his Hulk cologne. Hulk cologne. This smells incredible. Oh, oh, All right, oh, Alan's taking my Kevin Eastman. Oh, Where is that from me? Oh, Alan's sorry. taking the Kevin Eastman at thirty-eight hundred. Oh, at thirty-eight hundred. Uh, well, that puts. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da, da -da -da. See, making me do math. Here, I'll I'll fix the score. Hang on, hang on. Well, I break in ten thousand. I needed to do that with this kind of stuff tonight. Yeah. yeah. Fifty. Congrats. Yeah, not not too shabby. So. Uh, and Paul won. Paul won wheel. because he claimed so much. Alan, please send me your PayPal address so I can send you an invoice tonight. Oh, look at this. Oh, I'm Isn't within striking wheel. distance. Wait a minute. How about Thank the you, Luke everybody. Ross? We'll see. Now, hang on no, no, you don't have a chance. Oh, oh, give me a sorry, sorry, Mike. Three hundred <laughs> on the Luke Ross. Week. All right, but, now hey, we got so some. We got some stuff. Have a good night, everybody. Wait a minute. Wait, we got stuff to talk Bye. about though. You first off, chance. first off, remember everybody. If you claimed any artworks tonight, and a lot of people did. Email both of these gentlemen tonight. Their email addresses are. Address? Yes, always include your shipping address. List the artworks that you picked up in there, uh, you know, this evening as well, and uh, include your YouTube or Facebook handle because we did have some, uh, 
think we had one or two new people buying artwork tonight, which is awesome. So we sincerely appreciate that. But email everybody tonight. Don't even, don't wait till tomorrow. Do it this evening and include that mailing address. That's always important. Helps them uh, put their invoices Thank you, together. Everybody. On this Thank you, everybody. Now, have a good night. Wait a minute, Mike. Mike, we have an announcement to make. We actually have two announcements we have to make. Okay. You are not. A, you are going to be gone the next two weeks. I might. What? I might. No, so well, we'll, you told me you up. were. I you might told... do one. I might do one of the two weeks. Well, uh, Anthony, and I have well, to know. We need to know, man, because we, we're making plans. Okay, we'll know. We'll know. We'll talk about it after. Okay, because just so you know, Mike may not be able to be here, and Anthony and I talked about it, and we came up with uh, what we figured we would do: an art drop show and a make offer show. So we'll talk in the green room about it uh but uh but we wanted to make you aware of that because mike's got some his he's, he's been talking about that construction going on well they're yeah, finally well, they might be ripping out my walls they're here finally going to tear out the after. wall yeah they're going to tear out the wall in his office so he has right. to move all the art he has to move okay. himself so he can't uh he can't be in there. that would be a fun hulk smash moment all right now uh, 600 uh, jd i need i need something better than that come on right. All right, so uh, I'll and do Dave 750 said, on the on the the colon. First one at 750. All right, the, so, uh, the Ninja Turtle cover. Ninja, all right, thanks Dave everybody. Kopecky. Have a good night, yeah. Dave Kopecky. It did sell. Yeah, that one. Did sell. Next week. Have a good and night. Anthony's at 750. We'll keep an eye on the chat, everybody. everybody. All right. On, good last night. week, they did like 7,000 after the show. Right. 750. All right. Good night, everybody.